Well, the tunnel network. Yeah, I can't understand where it's coming from because I now checked the uh, washing machine. I'm going to listen. Can, can, is, is it is it running down the street that you're seeing it? Yeah. Pro- okay. Probably. Listen, um, behind your washing machine, can you bang on the wall to see if I can hear you? That's so odd. Can, can you bang on the wall really hard? No. No. I'm going to put my robe on and walk down the street and see if I can see where it's coming from. That sounds, that sounds hilarious. But no, ma'am, are you still by the washing machine? Can you bang on the wall really hard? To, to see okay, you, just sec. See if I can hear you that way. Okay, okay. Let me go. I'll go back in there and bang on the wall. Okay. Just a second. And see if you can hear that. Jill says to bang on the wall. Thanks, Jill. Okay, just a sec. Let me go back in and bang on the wall. Yeah, that's, 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 okay. that's the sensible thing to do. That's the sensible thing to do, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm back where the washing machine is. And you want me to bang on that wall? Yeah, just bang on this. <laughs> okay. Could you hear that? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Maybe. Could you hear that? I, th- I think I heard it. Can you bang louder? I'm going to walk down. I think the best thing for me to do now is to walk down. Um, I'm trying to see what... Well, of course that's the best thing. Maybe if you sing. Maybe if you yell really loud. Yeah, I'm going yeah, to walk down the... the uh, Driveway. Can, can can you can you scream really loud by the wall? Maybe I can hear you screaming. Like, yeah, I I banged it really loud. Uh, maybe if you sing or you yell really loud, you're just like. Ah! Yeah, just, just a just, second. I'm going to walk down the uh, <laughs> the driveway. I think is the best thing for me to do at this point, and see if I can see where that water. I think I can feel your footsteps. Okay. Because uh, I'm underneath the tunnels. <laughs> All right, just a sec. I'm walking down the driveway. Oh, what's that noise? Did you hear that? Now, what it, what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. What, is, what do you think that is? Hey, everyone. Oh, wow, I sound weird. That's better. What's that noise? I hear a noise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, so I'm still setting things up. I hear weird noises coming through the mixer. That's not good. Um, I'm going to do some live pranks today, uh, but, you know, give me, like, I don't know, 10 minutes to just kind of finish setting things up and drink a Pepsi or two, try and get woke up, and uh, just listen to some old pranks for a few minutes. Um, broadcasting on YouTube and, and the, uh, the, the, the thing, the shoutcast, and the, the, the other thing, the... Mixler, okay, back to the live prank. I can't talk yet. Huh, what the heck was that noise? Uh, it's a weird noise, I don't know. I hope there's not robots down here. Yeah, we don't want robots. <laughs> I've dealt huh. with that before, back, at, back in uh, Bel Air. Okay, I'm walking down the, the street <laughs> to see if I can see. Now, there's not any water coming down my driveway that I can see. Oh, thank God. I, we don't want water. Because, I mean, if the water comes down here, it could just flood and I'll drown. Because I've already lost my parrot. My pet parrot. I brought my parrot with me and it's dead. Okay, it... I'm walking down the street and where do you see the water coming from? I, I'm underneath the, the, the... I'm in the tunnels underneath the, the street. I'm underneath your house right now in the tunnels. And the water, the water's I'm walking coming. Down, I'm walking down my driveway. Oh, what color is your... Oh, I think your cordless phone's cutting out. You might not want to go too far. Oh, don't, don't... I don't want to lose you. I'm not... Any- Ma'am? F- Phyllis? Phyllis, Phyllis, come back. We're losing you. You're going to end up like my parrot. Phyllis, come back. Go, go away from the light. 
Oh, oh, I, I can hear you. Hi. Ma'am, Phyllis? Phyllis, are you coming? Yeah, hi. I, I think your phone was cutting out. Yeah, I, I, it's because I walked down to the uh, end of the drive to see if I could see. Now, I, there was, there's no water coming down towards you. Thank God so, you're okay. I thought you were going to die like my parrot. What? I thought you were going to die like my parrot. No. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. Okay, now I'm not seeing any water anywhere. So, where are you seeing the water? I, I'm right underneath your house by the washing machine. Can you come back to the washing machine to see if I can hear you? You know, I think, Dave, I, I think you've got the wrong house because. Oh, oh no, no. Um, no, it's Phyllis's house. Yeah. Um, huh. I, I'm right behind your washing machine because I can see all the pipes. And I well, know, I know my pipes. washing machine, the, that's so odd, because the washing machine uh, is in the back hall area. Yeah, yeah, that's right where the pipes are. And you're seeing water there? Oh, yes, tons of water is just pouring in. Just, it's like my boots are filled with water from your washing machine. Huh. Yeah. Well, because there's no water... In, where, in the little room that my washing machine is in, there is no water there. It's leaking up behind the walls. It's leaking behind the walls. Where, where would I see it? Oh, I don't know if you're going to see it or not. But if you could go over to the washing machine, I'm going to see if I can hear you to make sure that's where it's coming from. Okay, hang on a okay. sec. I'll go back there. Oh, that's the most sensible thing you could possibly do. I'll, I'll go back to where the... Uh, I, I hope you weren't sleeping. Were you sleeping? Was I what? Oh, were you sleeping? Was I sleeping? Yeah. No, I was actually awake. Oh, that's a bummer. I mean, that's good. I'm glad you weren't sleeping. Yeah. Hang on while I go back to where the washing machine is. It would have been more hilarious if you were sleeping, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, let me... Okay, I'm going back to where the washing machine is. Okay, now I'm in the uh, the area where the washing machine is. Oh, can you jump up and down and sing songs? Like, what's a song you know? Um, let's see. Uh, uh, can you can you hear me now? I'm jumping up and down. Uh, maybe you you need to yell really loud or sing. Okay. Can you, I'm, I'm yelling really loud. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, not yet, but I think maybe I can hear you. Can you sing a song? What songs do you know? Sing really loud. Um, okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder where you are. Keep going. Um, up above the sky so high. Da, 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 da. What, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Can you now, could, could you hear that? All Should right. I be okay. able to listen, see anything listen. if the water is coming from the yeah. washing machine? Yeah, you'd be able to see a big geyser coming from your hallway. Does that make sense? Yeah, I would have to see water somewhere, wouldn't I? Listen, ma'am, this is just a prank call. I'm not underneath your house. This is, don't, don't, what's wrong with you? Come on. Are you on drugs? Who are you? Uh, my, my name's Brad. I'm a prank caller from the internet. I just saw your number online. I thought I'd give you a call. Oh, gosh. Well, you gave me a heart attack. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. All right. I, I'm very I'm... sorry. I hope I hope you have a good rest of the night, though. Uh, I, it can only be better. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I hope so. Thanks, yeah. thanks, Phyllis. Thank you so much for checking. Hi, is this Jonathan? Yes. Hi, this is uh, David. I'm uh, one of your neighbors. Yes. I don't. I don't know how to tell you this. It's just like, you know, you have that big tree in your front yard. Yes. And it's got that square box thing around it. Yes. That's ugly. You need to take the box thing from around it. It looks like it's from the '90s. Makes us look like a bunch of hobos. 
Can you can you remove, um, can you get rid of the box thing? Uh, so so I'm, I'm sorry. The purpose of the call is what? The the box thing that you have around your tree. It's ugly. It's it looks like it's from the '90s. It makes us look like hobos. It brings down and, the value of the neighborhood. And this disturbs me. This dis, this disturbs you enough that to justify your calling me in the middle of the night? Yes. Well, it's not the middle of the night. It's more like the beginning of the night. It's just that the. It's like nobody does that anymore. Nobody has those box, those board border things around their trees. I, I see. It, it doesn't make David sense. Who? This is David who? Uh, Tompkinson from a, a few doors down. I'm David also, Tompkinson, which which house? It doesn't matter. Which, I mean, it's not like me and you talk that much or anything. I just can you remove the box from around your tree? It looks gay. David Tompkinson, and which which house are you in? Why does that matter? Oh, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to place it. Just trying to place you. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm like uh, about 13 houses down. Like I, it's I'm not close by, but I have to look at that box every time in the morning when I drive to work. It's there every morning, and it looks like I, I feel like I'm time traveling. It looks like something I'd see in the 90s. Thir- 13 houses down, eh? 13, 16. What, what's what's that? What's the address? You don't I, remember I, your own address? I'm on the opposite side. Well, I don't see why you need that. Can you just remove the box? Um, I'm I'm. What's your address, please? What does it matter? Well, uh, you know, you're you're uh, because you're. Um, calling at a, a very peculiar hour to make a very peculiar request, and you seem agitated about it. Well, it's stupid looking. It makes us look like hobos. It brings down the value of the entire neighborhood, and it, fa- it affects me as a homeowner, and you just need to get rid of that box. I see. And like, your address is again? You don't, have, you don't even have anything planted in the box. It's just a pointless box there. It's just a box filled with dirt around your tree, right? And... And what's your address? Like, wouldn't it look better if it was just grass that goes up to your tree, like, like normal people? And what's your address? I'm I'm not telling you my address. Well, that seems uh, then I I can't even begin to imagine how to respond to this if you won't even identify yourself. Well, if you don't remove like the box, it's you know, like a bizarre and cowardly thing to do. Oh, I'm cowardly now. At least I don't have a box around my tree. I think um, me and some of the neighbors are going to uh, come by and just remove the box for you. Well, that, of course, would be, you know, uh, I can't begin to list the number of things that would be wrong with that. Oh, okay. Talking about... Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's insisting that we remove the box. Let me talk to her. Maybe she has more sense than you do. I'm sorry? Let me, ta- let me talk to her. Maybe she has more sense than you do. Uh, no, I don't think so. Why not? Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what motivates this call at this exact time. Well, I just, I, I work during the day, and this is the best time for me to call. I just want the box removed. And on what basis are you demanding this? Because it looks stupid. It brings down the, the value of the neighborhood. Sir, stop talking to that stupid bitch and talk to me. We need to deal with this box problem. You're talking to the stupid bitch right now. Okay. Can you, you could please... Can you tell him to remove the box from around your tree? It looks stupid. Are you the one that put that there? You know what? You are really an offense to even what a crank call is. I'm not making a crank call. I'm a neighbor of yours, and I want the box gone. You're an offense to the neighborhood. You're bringing down the value of everybody else's house by having that stupid-looking box there. Do you know how stupid that box looks? It's like we're hobos. It's like we're a neighborhood full of hobos. Like, think about that. The next time you walk out into your front yard and you see that box, think, oh, my God, I'm a hobo. I live in a hobo house. Ah, stupid YouTube endings. Let's do Yo, show stuff. No. This is a track to let all the haters oh. and my homies oh. know how I really feel. Kristen or MC Router eat my shit. Tastes like right. lunch chowder. Catman can't date the missus because of all the dogs that she. Stop that. 
turn off these things. Oh, wait. No, not that. Crap. Wait, that's going to... No, don't worry, everyone. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But that's loud. So, hey, everyone. I'm going to do some live calls today on the YouTubes and on the Mixler and on the Shoutcast. I'm broadcasting on all the things today. Um, I'm doing YouTube because I'm on this, uh, you know, stupid Mixler thing that doesn't have any, any followers yet. So why would I do just that? And, um, but yeah, my plan today, I'm going to be calling some yard sales. Uh, just random yard sales. Like I, I've got an area picked out right now. I found one that has a phone number. I think a lot of this show is just going to be me searching for yard sales that has phone numbers on it because usually um, that's kind of hard to come by or not hard to come by, you know, like every third or fourth one might have a phone number on it. Uh, this first one's an estate sale. I don't wait. No, I don't want to call estate sales. That's where someone just died. OK, well, I'm going to start the show with me searching for a new thing to call. Uh, that one doesn't have a phone number. I'm just searching on Craigslist. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to have a hard time. I, I think I'm going to at least not watch the Mixler chat. Um, I don't know. It's going to be hard to watch the chats, I think. The YouTube chat's scrolling too fast. Everyone, like YouTube, they're trying to trick me. They're like, oh my God, Joe Rogan died. Rest in peace, Joe Rogan. They're all in on it. They're all telling me Joe Rogan died. So I'll announce it on my show. Good one, you guys. I totally believe that. That Joe Rogan is dead. Or maybe it's Seth Rogan. I don't know. It's one of the Rogans. These YouTube people are tricky. Maybe I should just watch the, the Mixler. That'll be easier to keep up with. And, and they won't do silly pranks on me and try and get me to announce fake news holy shit n none of these yard sales has phone numbers on them and when I do find a phone number it's not like it's going to pick up the phone's just going to ring and ring we'll get an answering machine and I'll try again that's how it usually goes on live shows so don't yell at me when things are really slow All right, clearing out our home before the move. Buy something. Pick what you want from the free things. Bathroom, cabinets, storage, chairs. Yeah, okay, let's, let's try this one, see if they pick up. His name's Paul. Oh yeah, I gotta open up my phone program. So I can dial numbers. Silly me. If you have any ideas on what I should say to Paul about the stuff. Oh, crap. Didn't have the volume on. Good morning. Hey, I'm um, calling about that yard sale. Yard sale? You don't have a yard sale? Aren't you guys moving? I beg your pardon? Aren't you guys moving? Yes, we're moving. Oh, I thought you were going to have like a clearing out your home type thing. We did. We had a massive sale the day that got virtually rained off and rained out the day after the, uh, uh, you know, the Sunday of the, of the Lilac Festival, but were you looking for something in particular? Well, we have a few well, items left. I thought you were going to have a sale today. It says today on Craigslist. Uh, and plus, I, I, plus, I talked to that Paul. That would be impossible. I'll have to check. Or, or is it just an item that's listed on the Craigslist? We have a lot of things listed. No, no. Paul, like I talked to Paul personally uh, when, at the store, and he said they're do you guys are doing a thing on Sunday, 
And he's going to start well, at 9 not, in the morning. Let me, let me get him and have fucking him and Paul. talk with you about whatever. I'm sick of Paul's fucking you. shit. Huh? I said I'm sick um, of Paul's fucking shit. I'm, I beg your pardon? But you didn't have, like, just a sale, like a normal yard sale? We like had a, a huge sale the day after the Lilac Festival. But let me find out what... I'll get Paul. He's, he's the right The Warlock here. Festival. Paul? Here's someone you talk to who... Um, you talked to this person and told him we had a sale going on today, uh, and it's all over uh, Craigslist that there's a sale today at our house. All over Craigslist. All over. Hello. The... Hey, Paul. Yes. It's Brad. You remember from the store? Brad. Yeah, Brad. Um, How you doing? Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember talking to you, but what was it that you were interested in? At the store? I thought you were going to do like a wholesale thing today where we could come out and like buy things. Um, w- w- what is it you're interested in that was in Craigslist? I, I put that up yesterday, yeah. Yeah, you, you said there's going to be a sale. He said it starts at 9 a.m., we can come out. And I drove by there and like there's nothing out there, so I was afraid. Well, you can, you can, I was you afraid can come to and, you can You can come and look at it today where are you guys where are you guys uh moving to yeah uh where, let's where see what was it brad that you, what, what was it on craigslist i put all the things that we had on the sale yeah yeah you had like the fringe copper pans and cookware yes it's here it's here like um are those uh real copper or are they like real the, copper real copper but and they're they're french and they're they're and if you go check you, the web and and we have many of them. There there do, there's there's about fifteen or twenty of them, and you can select from the ones that you want. At, well, if we can negotiate a fair price. But but it's like, are you sure it's real copper, not imitation copper? Like, are no, they, it's real copper. It's are, real copper. Are they near you? Pardon me. Are they near you? Like, can you go near them? Yeah, you, you you'd have to look at them. Some yeah. of them are unused. You should put pictures up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, the address is 2624 Teakwood Court. But can you go over there? Yeah, I know where the, where it is. Uh, I drove by, and, like, there's nothing out there on the lawn. Can you go yeah. over where the pans are and, like, just... Uh, they're in the kitchen. They're in the kitchen. Can you they're, wa- all, they're all hanging. Can you walk over they're there? They're hanging, and some of them are on top of the shelves, and can some you, of them are new. Just go in there, then. Yeah, so you'd have to look at them. I, are you there, though? Like, can you walk over to them? I, yeah. I want yeah. you to bang the copper ones together, and I'm going to... Uh, measure the frequency that the sound makes over the phone, yeah, and it'll yeah, tell me yeah. if they're real just, copper just, or not. Just come over and look at them, okay? Why can't you just bang them on the phone? Pardon me? Why can't you just bang them? Bang them together on the phone, and I'll hear if they're real. Yeah, they're real. They're real copper. But how do we know that? It could be synthetic copper. Yeah, real copper. You'd have to You'd have to look at them. Hey, how come your and, wife uh, was giving me all that lip when I was talking to her earlier? Okay, okay, okay. How come she was doing that? okay. Okay. What do you mean, okay? No, it was a question. Like, how come she's giving me all that lip? Okay. You, you're welcome to come look at them, okay? Is your wife going to give me a bunch of lip if yeah, I come my over? my wife can give you the directions. Erections? What? Oh, okay. Hi, this is Sarah. Oh, hey, Sarah. Uh, do you know how, to get, know how to get here? No, Paul was saying you were going to go over to the, the copper pots and uh, bang them together because I want to make sure they're real copper. Oh, they're real copper. Yeah, from yeah. France. So that, that's why he was saying you were going to go over there and bang them together. You want you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. If you could just bang them together over the phone, and I'll just hear if they're real or not. Oh, over the phone. Yeah, I want to make oh. sure it's not synthetic copper. <laughs> okay, they're hanging. So let me see if I can reach them. Um, 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 um. How can I? Get, maybe I can get the step stool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't fall. I'm kind of short, so uh, let me get the You're step stool. You're wearing shorts. And they're also extremely heavy, oh. they're very heavy um, for pans. Well, pans these days, yeah. <laughs> you know, because they're not from Walmart. Well, that's a good sign. It's probably real copper. It's not synthetic copper. Oh yeah, they're really heavy. Uh, the big skillet, I'm, I would have trouble actually pouring anything out of it because, you know, like pouring <sighs> grease off or something because you're weak. they're so heavy. You're weak. Let me see. Let me get the stool here. You're a weak woman. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it sounds heavy. Uh, just a sec, I have to set the phone down to set up the stool. Okay, all right. You guys, this is kind of boring, isn't it? This is a really boring call. 
That's what I was thinking, fucker pants. Chester Copperpot. I'd have to take them down if I can just... Let's see. Yeah, can you really bang them together? Like, really, just bang, bang, bang. Okay, well, let me take them down. I'll yeah. have to take them down. Okay. Let me see. Like, two of the copper ones. Does that do it? Well, you didn't really bang them together. You got to really bang like like you're playing the cymbals and like sing a song. I did that. No, okay, no, okay. no, that was like really what weak. Dance. They sound like a bell. Yeah, well, a little bit. Not. Whoa. Can can we sing songs while you do it? Like sing. Twink, I beg your pardon. Like, do you know "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star"? Like, sing that and like bang the pans to the beat of the music. I can't sing. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's cool. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'll sing with you. We'll sing I together. I can't sing. We'll sing together. It'll, it'll be fine. Joy to the world. Nord has come. <laughs> oh, my God. That was awful. That was awful. Ew. I oh. told you I can't sing. God. <laughs> I don't sing. <laughs> Neither does my son. Uh, anyway, they're, Can we try they're, again? They're, they're uh, sick. They're sick. You know, they're, there's a, they're sick. Okay. But you can't hear them? Let me put the phone up by them. Yeah, it sounds real. Can you hear that? Yeah, yeah. So can we just... I, I've got a, a device hooked up to the phone. I'm measuring the frequency that the, the bangs make to make sure it's real yeah. copper. Can you just do... like? Well, it is real copper. It's been tinned. We've had it retinned. Can you do one grand finale? Just like bang them as hard as you can. Just... No, I am not going to dent these things. I'm not going to ruin them. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to destroy these by banging them together. No, I don't want you to destroy it. Can you... Can but you want me to hit them as hard as I can. That will not be good for the pans. They're perfectly solid, but I mean, banging them together, that's inappropriate. Okay, instead, like, just hold one by the handle and throw it as hard, hard as you can across the room. Throw it? Uh-uh. No, no, I'm not going like, to. I'm not going to damage the house either. Throw it on the what ground. Is it, what is it you want to know, for Pete's sake? Throw, throw it on the ground, just really, really hard. No, I'm not going to do that to our to our wood floors. I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? Well, you guys are moving. Who cares about the fucking floors? I don't look. Who cares about the fucking floors? Well, me, the new owners that care about the fucking floors. <laughs> well, I They're don't. wood floors. You want me to drop this on the floor? No, no, throw it at the floor. How's that? Do it again. But it, the floor is a dent. Do by it again. The way. Did you hear it? Yes, but do it again. I wasn't recording. Ouch. Look, I can. I can swear on 10,000 Bibles to you that these are real copper. We've had them retinned numerous, you know, at least once, if not twice. Oh. So you don't retin non-real copper pans, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, you don't retin non-copper pans. That'd be stupid. And these have been repin re uh, retinned. <laughs> they are somewhat dusty, I see, but they're fine. <laughs> God, can, I don't want to... <laughs> can, you, can you sing Joy to the World while you throw pans at the floor? No, I cannot. Please? I'm not going to throw pans at the floor. The, the, our floors dent, and they aren't replaceable. They're wood floors. We've sold them, and we have a, a contract to maintain the house as it was purchased. Sing, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Okay, did that help in any way? It's not helping me. <laughs> can Can you, um, can you... Use the, the, the handles are made out of brass, I guess. They're very the handles are very heavy. Yeah, do do symbols again, but use the phone as one of the symbols. What? Use what? your use your phone as one of the symbols. You know, bang symbols? the symbols. What do you yeah. mean by a symbol? B bang the phone. Throw the phone to the floor. Yeah, no. <laughs> yes. What? Yes, please. I'm not going to throw the phone at the floor. It falls apart. I've done this before. It falls apart. <laughs> no, no, I was saying, um, can you, like, play symbols again, but instead of using a pan as one of the symbols? Oh, you... symbols? You yeah. mean putting the pans together? 
Yeah, but instead of two pans together, use one pan and the phone and bang those together. Like that? <laughs> yes, but again... Why are you, you doing? Heard? Why are you doing all this? What? <laughs> why? I know it sounds ridiculous. Why am I doing it? Because you asked me to. Yeah, but I also said, "Who cares about the fucking floors? Why would you trust me?" I beg your pardon. I also said, "Who cares about the fucking floors? Why would you trust me?" Why would I trust you? I, I, Wait, is this kind of a joke? Yeah, I'm a prank caller. Are you? Yeah, I don't even live in in that city. Oh, my God. I live in, I live in yeah, Oregon. Yeah, this was a really awful thing to do. I know. We're moving, and I am so pressed for time and so crushed. I can't even... I, I, but, like, you uh, know, like, this is like a little break from all the, the hustle and bustle of moving. And hello. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> I guess she hung up. Wait, wait. Is she going to come back? Do I need to do the dial tone thing? Oh, no. There she goes. She hung up. Holy shit. I am exhausted now. What the fuck was all that? Why did all that happen? That was insane. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know. She's saying joy to the world twice for me. This doesn't make sense. Holy crap. Holy crap. Man, I, I think I need to go turn on the air conditioning, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of exhausted now. Um, hey, give me a second, all right? Listen to some porn. I don't know if like I'm it's I'm just dripping with sweat because of that call and like how fucking ridiculous it was or if uh if it's actually hot up here so I turned on the air conditioner just to be sure uh fucker pants says how are you gonna top that I think you're correct fucker pants I think it's time to end this show I did one call it was pretty bizarre and it's time to end the show uh thanks for listening everyone I appreciate you coming on here and listening Thanks to the people that are super chatting on the on the YouTubes. Um, it's it's very distracting. I'm clicking on the thing to see who who super chatted, and it's just a blank screen, so I can't say thank you to you personally. I think that means I have to stay on until that pops up. It's just blank. Why is it blank? What the fuck? All right, let me find another yard sale. Find another one. Man, bo both Paul and his wife were just weird. Like, I was saying weird shit about his wife, and he's just like, okay, okay, okay. And his wife gets on and does everything I tell her to. He's got her trained.
All right, here we go. I think. Yard sale on Sunday, 8 a.m. until noon. Why just noon? Uh, they've got dishes. They've got wall decorations, um, a baby swing, rocking chair, lamps, staple gun, nail gun, DVD player. Uh, they got a lot of pictures, a lot of shelves, lamps. There's that staple gun. <laughs> uh, there's a sound effect machine for when you're sleeping. So let me ask uh, Mixler. Mixler, what am I going to say to this person about the yard sale? Oh wait, let me let me pull up their uh, Google picture, their Google Street View, to see what their house looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm calling this right now. Quick, someone, anyone, tell me what to say. Here he goes. Hello. Hello. I was calling about your yard sale. Yes. Um, you know, I'm having a yard sale, right? I, th this is Paul. Paul, I'm your neighbor. I, I live over there on Snow Road. Oh, okay. And I'm having a yard sale today. Oh, okay. I I'm, didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just on the other side of the block. Oh, okay. Around the corner. Okay. Who do you think you are having a yard sale when I'm trying to have a yard sale and you're ste <laughs> stealing all my customers? No, it's not funny. I didn't post any. No, I didn't even post mine. I didn't know you were having one. Oh, yeah, you yes, you at? did. I see it on Craigslist. I'm not stupid. I looked on Craigslist. I see all your pictures. It says it starts uh -huh. at 8, 8 a.m. until noon, the exact same hours mine has. Uh-huh. I'll send them over after they're baked they leave oh no no they've been coming over and they're like oh sorry we already spent all our money over at that other lady's yard sale oh no they didn't i yes, hardly uh -huh. sold anything <laughs> well that's what they're telling me like they're using you as an excuse not to buy anything from me oh well there's tons of other yard sales today isn't there yeah but i think you did this on purpose just to steal my business you can have those for two Oh, you're not selling anything, and, and you're, you're like, I can hear you selling things in the background. Yes, yes. Is there anything else? Um, my wife is going to come over there. Okay. And she's not going to buy anything. She just wants to smell all of the items. <laughs> oh, I'm, let me call her right back. She must have dropped the phone. Hello, please leave your name, oh, number. Come on. All right, one more try. That was Elkie's idea. Thanks a lot. Hello, please leave your name, number, message. Thanks a lot, Elkie. Man, YouTube chat just scrolls by way too fast. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Like for me to, you know, steal ideas from it. Like someone saying, uh, uh, ask about used panties, trying to feed my kid with the money made from my garage sale. Oh, yeah, that's to make her feel guilty. Because she should feel guilty. Ah, oh, viewer activity, it's up. Thank you, Rocky, for the $2. Thank you, 15 fake account, for your pretend money. Whatever a sec is. Uh, Danger Dave and Trump Tard. And none of you left comments. You're supposed to, like, you know, say a thing and make me say a thing on the show. Durr. Trump Tard says floor fucked. I guess he said that while she was fucking her floor. Fucking up her floor. So thanks, everyone. Um, I'm looking for the next place, place now.
Hey, let me try her back one more time. Hello? Hey, my wife's going to come over there. I, I okay. Was, I was trying to tell you about that. She's going to smell things. Can I put her on the phone real quick? Okay, that's very odd. <laughs> w- what's odd? That she's going to smell a thing. Here, here, here <laughs> Is this some go. sort of joke? Here you go, honey. Well, hello? This, this yes, is, hello? Oh, hey, it's Carol. Yes? We're, we're, we're having a yard sale, too. We're just, like, right around the corner. Okay. I'm going to come over. Like, do you still have the Mario and Luigi dolls? Yes. Okay, I'm going to come... Backpack? Yeah, I'm going to come over and smell those. Okay. I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to put one at each nostril and just... I'm just going to... Okay, very odd. Very odd. No, don't don't judge me. Don't judge... Oh. <laughs> She's not open to anything different. Everything just has to be... Just, just completely normal with her. Whatever. I think I'm going to have to move to a new area because I'm about out of yard sales in this town. And nobody has phone numbers. I should do some Canadian yard sales. Oh, now I'm on yard sales for next week. Oh, wait, could I call yard sales for next week? Well, let me see if they have phone numbers. I'll tell them they need to reschedule because I'm having a yard sale. Oh, no, none of them have phone numbers. Oh, but here's yard sales from nearby areas that are today. Thanks, Craigslist. Moving yard sale. Lots of good stuff. A camping tent. Two cornhole games. <laughs> uh Camping stuff, ladders, tools, costume, jewelry. Ask the Canadian something Canadian. Okay, yeah, good idea. Thanks for that one, Aaron. Oh, there's a good idea. Danger Dave says you should call us the HOA and demand part of the profits from the yard sale. Um, But I don't know if they're in an HOA area. So instead, I'll just say I'm from the city. You know, just do the same thing as the city. Hello, Helen? Yes. Hey there, it's Roy from the city of Bakersfield. It's Roy. And so? Okay, well, d- don't be smart with me, lady. Uh, I was calling to find out how much you've made at your yard sale so far. About uh, yesterday, $3. $3, okay. <laughs> and you know you have to give 40% of that to us, right? No. Yeah, so that's a dollar twenty. Uh, how much have you made today? Nothing so far. And what? I'm not going to sell anything else. I didn't know I had to pay you. It said free. What's free? The Porterville and Visalia Tulare yard sale said it was free. You listed it free. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's the newspapers. I'm from the city. You know, the, the city, the city hall, city, chamber of commerce, city, people, city. Uh, yeah, no, well, you, you have to, uh, you have until, to... Uh, listen, and, and don't talk to me like, don't get smart well, because you were get... I, I don't believe you. I think you're scamming. No, I'm not scamming. So don't... I'm just saying you better, cla- huh. I'm just saying you better claim this on your taxes. I'm not asking for money. I'm just saying you have to claim this on your taxes. You owe us 40% motherfucker. Well, I don't owe you anything. Well, I'm a part of the city. So yes, you do. And she's gone. I think I should try that one again. 
not her, but you know, another one. And she wasn't even in Bakersfield because I'm doing nearby yard sales. Oops. I forget which city I was in. Yeah, this is confusing. Let me just go back and find different area. Um, oh, I know. I know a good state to call. Give me a second. God damn it, I just messed up. <laughs> uh, Mikitan wants me to ask if anyone's guarding the yard sales. You know, would anyone notif notice if I steal things? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me change my caller ID since I'm in a new state now. Okay, here we go. You've reached Jared Webley. Quit doxing yourself, Jared. All right, next. No phone number on that one. No phone number. Dude, help a brother out. Last day for our yard sale. Everything 50% off the ticketed price. They have a big old sign, but no phone number. Moving sale. Holy shit. The yard is just filled with crap. Multifamily. Dang it. No phone numbers. This is why I don't I don't usually do these live, because it just takes so long to find one. Today's worse than normal though. Upscale sale. That's a store using the yard sale section to advertise her business. I need to report her. Okay, here we go. I found one. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. They, they owe a portion of their profits to us. <laughs> oh, there's another good idea. I need to open my notepad. Okay, hold on. Hello? Hey, it's calling about your yard sale. Uh-huh. Um, this is Steve Dave from the city. And okay. we just need to find out what your profits are at right now. Because, you know, we got to 
collect our 40%. You're funny. What do you mean I'm funny? You're calling from a 509 area code. You can't. You what can't, city are you calling? You can't just cheat on your taxes, sir. You, you got to give your, you know, give a portion of it to the government. Okay. What's your name and your ID number? Uh, I don't have an ID number. Okay. I, I'm I'm just with the city. We don't have ID numbers. City, want, city of who? You want my social security number or something? No, look, I'm no. just I'm just ki- <laughs> look. Hey, settle down. I'm just kidding. Um, I was wanting to know uh, how late are you going to be there today? Oh, come on. I was going to try and you know, do a new one. Um, Mike has a great idea about work release convicts. Please leave your message for... But this guy doesn't want to pick up. Whatever. This Craigslist is like right on the border of a, of two different states. You know, there's one city on one side and another city on the other side. So half of them are going to be in one state. That, that's why he was uh, giving me shit about my phone number. Because I was across the river from him. Across the state border, whatever. Now I've got Super Chats coming in uh, with um, ideas for, you know, to do, to do calls with. And I can't guarantee I'm going to do those ideas. But I will try because a couple of them are pretty good. <laughs> uh, like, all right, here, let me just read them all. Uh, uh, individual intent. Here's an idea for now or for the, for the future. Check the snowplow email called a robot named Marty. What? You're telling me to check my email for something? That's I'm not going to do that right now. I'm in the middle of a show. Like, here's the part of the show where I check my email and look for things. But thank you, individual intent. I will see it eventually. Uh, I can't find anything again. Uh, Brian Keller says, uh, tell someone you crashed on the way and they're liable. That could be fun. Or I could do the the Dwight thing. Uh, Dwight likes doing this thing. I mean, I don't have the sound effect ready, but he'll be talking to someone on his cell phone. And uh, while he's talking to them, he gets in a major car crash. Has a bunch of sound effects set up for it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm on my way to your yard sale. Ah, I'm dying. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> okay. Um... California King with memory foam. Need gone ASAP. This isn't a yard sale. What? It's it's under yard sales. Oh, there's no address either. Fuck. This guy just put it in the wrong category on Craigslist. What a dummy. He's just selling a mattress. That's all. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an oh, automated shit, voice shit, messaging shit, system. Shit, shit, shit. I messed up. Cheap yard sale. Garage sale. Huge sale. I remember when I used to have yard sales before the internet worked. Now, why would I? Who has yard sales anymore? God damn it. A huge 
Vintage Tent Sale. I'm at the flea market making deals. What? I still can't get over that first call, you guys. What the hell was that? <laughs> she sang to me. She kept crashing her phone against copper pots. I should have asked her to take off all her clothes and see if she did that. Because I kind of think she would have. Like, she kind of resisted everything at first, but then she eventually did it. She's like throwing the pans on the floor. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I should call them back, shouldn't I? I should have saved their number. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your, your, your garage sale. Yes. How late's that going to be happening? It just says it starts at 8 in the morning. Oh, so we're we're probably going to be out here almost the whole afternoon, probably around four or five. Okay, cool. Um, I'm actually calling from the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility uh, over here, um, and I I needed to let you know we're going to be coming in with a bus full of prisoners. And they're just going to kind of show up, and we're going to browse around. They're going to use their commissary money and just buy a few things. So you might make a a bunch of sales today. Okay. Yeah. No, that sounds great. Yeah, they're they're um uh they're 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 uh yeah they're like you can't let them buy sharp things though okay so you gotta tell okay. you gotta tell them no okay I can do that yep yep anything with metal in it basically anything metal and pointy don't let them have those okay but yep we're gonna have it's gonna be about three dozen prisoners uh they're okay. all they're all gonna be in prison uniforms and everything okay and like how much security do you have there. Uh, like, none, just me and my husband. Okay, well, it's just me watching the prisoners today. Okay, here, why don't um, I put you on the phone with my husband? He's sitting right here. How come? He like, might hear. Can't, can't you handle it? Yeah, hello? Oh, hey, uh, it's it's uh, Roy from the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility. And oh, okay, um, cool. I was calling to let you know we're going to be bringing in a bus full of prisoners uh, to come and visit your yard sale. A bus full of prisoners to visit my yard. So. Yeah, just uh, nice. about three dozen of them, and oh. they've all got you know their commissary money. And they're just they're, okay. Yep, we're just gonna spend uh, you know maybe an hour, just just browsing around, looking at things, and they might buy some things for themselves. All right, sounds good to me. And um, they're not allowed to buy pointy, sharp things. So don't let, right. like don't, you got to watch them. You got to you got to be careful. Don't sell them any pointy sharp things. All right, sounds good to me. And um, um like a lot of these people, they could steal things. So you got to really watch them. Are you both going to be there to watch them? Um, so are you guys going to be having people supervise them? Well, otherwise, just, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. It's just me. I'm I'm just the I'm driving the bus right now. We're going to be there in about okay. 10 minutes. It's just me today. Like, we, we can't, we don't have the budget for extra guards or anything. Mm. So, it's just you and 20 prisoners? Uh, three dozen. So, that would be uh, three, 36. Three dozen. 30, so 36. 36 prisoners? Yep. Yeah, they're not violent prisoners, but, you know, a lot of them are thieves and sex offenders and stuff. Uh, is it gonna be okay if we come? If some okay. of them come in to use your bathroom, because a lot of them are saying they got to use the bathroom. Uh, no. Why not? Um, who is this? This is Roy. Where are you from? I'm from the Chili Pepper Roy? Correctional Facility. A chili Pepper Correctional Facility. Correct. I don't think this is real. Oh no, I don't it's think completely real. You're talking about is real. No, it's completely real. I just, you know, they need to use the bathroom. Like, what's wrong with that? You don't let people use the bathroom? Um, n no, we don't let criminals. Well, they're and they're sex offenders. They're in the process of being reformed. Use our, that's 
that's too bad. They can, they can they can wait until you guys get back to wherever you are. They can hold it for an hour. They're probably going to badger okay. you. No, it was a long bus ride here. They're probably going to badger you to use your bathroom. So just in case they succeed, no, can, can thank you, you thank you so you much hide, for your time. Like take your prescription Goodbye. medications out of the bathroom because we yeah, okay. <laughs> that was Mike's idea. Thanks, Mike, and the YouTubes. Teehee. <laughs> Uh, Paradise Parks Inc. wants me to say I'm coming to set up my own table. That's a super chat. Uh, Ska, Ska, Ska just says thank you. Trump Tard says prank calling 10 bots. Love you, Brad. No homo cactus too. All right. I'm so happy that I encouraged people to leave notes with their super chats. And over on the Mixler, people are saying, eh, why doesn't Brad read the Mixler chat? Eh. Like Mr. Biggs is complaining about it constantly. So's Ella. And Ron. They're all like, eh. Eh. King Richard says, I suck in the show. He's just trying to get more people to listen to his show. I'm probably interfering with one of his live shows, aren't I, King Richard? Are you doing one today? He always records on the weekends, but I forget when. I can't keep up with all the shows. I think I did a show over Justin today. Hopefully Justin doesn't freak out and try to ruin my life. Sorry, Justin. so many awesome looking yard sales here but they don't have phone numbers it sucks an alley sale <laughs> they're having a sale in the alley All right, here we go. Here's one. Uh, garage sale. Little of everything. Big sale. I kind of want to do the prisoner thing again, but I also want to do this uh, other idea of um, what's-his-face. Uh, 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 Brian, I crashed. Hello? Hello. Hey, I was calling about your yard sale. Um, I was on my way over there just uh, just um, about an hour ago. Like, how late are you going to be open there today? Well, until nobody comes. Oh. How late do you want me? How late can you make it? Well, I was I was going to be there like maybe over you know about forty minutes ago, but uh, I got in a car wreck on the way. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Are you Are you okay? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm a, like I'm a little uh, I don't know what my neck hurts and stuff. But yeah. no, nobody got seriously injured. I mean, unless oh, unless I have neck problems for life, which I might. Because oh my yeah. gosh, it's ugh, my it, it's. Where I, was it? Um, I I was I was close over to the interstate, kind of like, uh, but not. I I was, um, it's in Post Falls. Huh. I don't know, but Were it. You it yeah, it wrecked my car pretty bad though. Um, oh. And the police officer, you know, they they showed up and took a uh -huh. re report and everything. And they're telling me that since I was on the way to your yard sale, that you're liable for the damages to my car. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I think you're wrong. <laughs> well, no, it's coming straight from a police officer. He told me this because he took the report for the crash and he says it wasn't my fault. He said it wasn't either of our faults. He said the crash itself is actually your fault because I was on my way to okay. your... So if you're on your way to Yolks Market and you have an accident, Yolks Market's responsible? I don't go to Yolks Market. I'm no, but I'm I'm I use that just as a reference. Yeah, that's a dumb reference. No, I'm 
the look the it's already been decided that you're responsible for the damages hey. to my car. Yes. Sir. And listen. Listen. Hello. Hi. Yeah. What, why'd you put me on speaker? Huh? Because I'm away from the phone right now. No. I'm having the yard. No, I can hear you. And then also you you told some guy to listen. Like you want to make fun of me. No. That's what it seems like. No, my grandson was out here and I told him to listen for a minute to me telling him something. Not not have anything oh, to do with Oh, weird. You. No, it sounded like completely different to me some, for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Any, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to need you to pay for the damages to my car. And uh, I'm going to give the the other person that was involved in the accident, I gave them your phone number. And they're going to get in touch with you, too, because there was some damage to their car. And okay, I, who was the officer that you and that took the... Don't worry about it. And I'm going to get an estimate tomorrow. I'm going to take it into the shop. And uh, we'll we'll send you a bill. <laughs> okay, who? where's the police report? Uh, it's uh, they, they, they took it. Um, I've got the police report number and everything. Okay, what is it? And my car is an 87 Honda. So it's, you know, it's a nice car. Okay, but what's the police report number? Um, well, you know what? I'll give that to you with the estimate. I'll bring it by tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to your garage sale today because my, my car is not drivable anymore because you wrecked it. Oh, okay. What time What time did this happen? Uh, just about 40 min minutes ago. And the tow, oh. the tow truck just took my car away, and I'm walking home. Oh, who is the tow truck? Don't worry about it. Like, why do you need to know that? Like, what are you, some kind of a scammer? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, it doesn't sound like you're taking this very seriously, but, you know, you definitely have to pay for the damages to both of our cars. And possibly my doctor bills if this uh, neck uh, kink doesn't go away. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is your grandson getting a good listen to all of this? No, he left. Oh, yeah, right. It doesn't seem okay. like you're away from the phone. It didn't seem like you had to put me on speaker. It just seems like you did for no reason at all, except to let somebody listen in on this conversation. No. I'm way across the hall from the phone. Are you just denying, you know, paying my, um, my, my, my car crash? Repair. Oh, definite. No, I, I'm just saying, are you doing it because you're racist? No. It kind of seems like you are. Oh. Well, I think you may have the police department call me. Oh, no, I'm just going to bring the estimate by, and you have to pay it. We don't want to have to take you to court. Okay, take me. Well, no, I don't want to have to take you to court. Cause then, well, I understand. Because then you'll have to pay for the court cost, too, when I win. Yeah, I think my insurance company would take yours to court. So. Well, your insurance company is going to have to pay for the car crash that you got me involved in. Because mm. I wouldn't have been on the way over if I didn't see your Craigslist ad. Okay. All righty, well. I'll let you go. Um. So do you still have that bread maker? Yes. Can you set that aside for me? Like, how much is that? It's $20. Oh, that's perfect. Um, would would you take fifteen? Why well, not at this point? Why not? Because you're racist. Because I opened my garage sale. I'm gonna give other people a chance well, to I give was, me full bread. I really wanted to get the the bread maker, but you you uh you caused me to have a car crash, so now I can't make it over there because I'm too far away. Oh. Well, we'll discuss it later, I guess. Then when you can. Okay, well, if nobody else buys it, can I have it for 15 Pardon me? Well, can you just set it aside and I'll pay 20 Just set, set it aside, don't sell it. I'll pay $20. When, when okay. I, when, I bring, when I bring over the estimate for my car repairs. Okay, what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy. And your last name? Do you think maybe uh, I could, we could just pay for the car repairs and stuff? 
No. Because you have that afghan, too. Pardon? You have that afghan, too. Did, did anyone buy the afghan? Oh, the afghan? Afghan. What's that? I don't know. It's like a big bed. Bed. You know, it's a, it's a blanket. I say Afghan, yeah. No, it's an Afghan. It's, yeah, okay. It's pronounced Afghan, stupid. Okay, well, i got a customer, so I've got to go now. Wait, um, is the customer right there? No. Well, can you go out by near the customer and leave speakerphone on, please? No, I'm not going to do that. Why not? I want to say curse words and get them right. Well, I don't. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> Lay away the bread maker. Okay. Afghan. She probably pronounces Denver as Danver. Fucking idiot. Well, I enjoyed that one. Thanks for the idea. Um, uh, 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 Brian. Thanks, Brian, for that one. Um, Paradise Parks wants me to say I'm setting up my own table. That's one I've done before, and that's always fun. So I think I want to do that next. Why are you calling my show? Because I like to talk to you, dog. What's oh. going on? How's your, how's your Sunday? It's all right. I'm just looking up garage sales, trying to find another one. Hey, with actually, now they have the phone. I have a question. How much, how much money do you make before taxes? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> uh, seventy-eight thousand dollars. What? Yo, I'm a patron. I'm a patron, <laughs> by the way. Oh, thank you. Thanks. In case you thanks, cared. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for calling. Yep. Me Where's up my to- pin? Thanks for thanks for asking how much I make on the air. Listen. What's your name? What's for lunch? Uh, Riley. Oh, hey Riley. This isn't the Riley. Hey. You're like an invitation, Riley. Hey. I'm the fake one. Yeah, you're like East Coast Riley. Literally though. Yep. Vermont. If there's any Vermont listeners. Yeah, I didn't want to say your state because I didn't want to dox you. What are they gonna do? That's true. Sign me up for, sign me up for the. Uh, as long the, as you're okay the, with it. Hey everyone, Riley's phone number is eight zero two. No. It's five zero five two zero four seventy nine twenty. We're calling up. Uh, oh no, it's an estate sale. They probably. They probably. Perfect. I'll act like your manager. They probably died. Pour one out. I should be like, I'm calling about your estate sale. Who died? Yeah, like I'm trying to attend the funeral because I'm really hungry for food. Your call has. Well, it looks like you fucked it up. They didn't answer, so I'm going to have to hang up on you. For that one. Huh? I said S in the chat. Pour one out for that person. Yeah, everybody pour one out for the estate sale people. I can't find another one with a phone number, so I guess I'm just going to have to hang up on you. No, I, one more. I tried. Last one. I'm looking. You one. Use one of your old lists. Oh, uh, it's another that... es- estate sale. Well, I'm just doing yard sales today. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Brad, uh, next episode, can you blame everything on me? Okay. I'll do that. Anything that goes wrong, it's my fault. 
next episode, even if I say someone else, it's Riley's fault. Yeah. This is another estate estate sale. Can you can you guys break a hundred? That was good. Hi, you've reached Building Dreams Enterprises. I'm sorry, we're not available to answer your call. Oh, it's like a company that does estate sales or something, maybe. I don't know. That's my guess. You're, you're messing everything up. You're ruining my, ruining my show. I know. How often do people call in? I feel like that's not a... That's like a really rare occurrence. I think you may have been the only person that called in today. Because I didn't tell anyone to call in. But you decided to just break the rules and call in. Well, you have to be and an I, asshole about it. And I picked up... I mean, I'm just calling into your show. I know. I know. No, it's fine. You have to bite my head off. I'm sorry. Estate liquidation. What's that mean? Like they, they're they losing their house? The bank's taking it? Or is that just another dead Probably. person? When they die, they stop paying the bills, and their family doesn't care, so they just the bank takes it over. Wow. All right, I'm tired of you. Bye. We prank call? Wait, prank call my dad. No. Is he doing a yard sale today? No. Hey, oh. let me look up a yard sale. Fuck your dad, day. then. <laughs> Told him, didn't I? I think I'm going to have to move areas again. I can't find any phone numbers. Also, I think we're overdue for a break. Maybe we should take a break. Oh, look, an audio-visual sale. They have... They have, um... Slide projectors. <laughs> slide projectors and CDs. I wish they had a phone number. The state sale, no phone number. Yard sale for a good cause. Oh, it's for the Colton Whole Zoo funeral. Um, proceeds are going to the family of a young man who died last week in a car accident. I should call these people up with my uh, car accident thing. That'd be so funny, but they don't have a phone number. Oh, well. I totally would if there was a phone number. Neil sent in a super chat. He wants me to define cactus. The fuck does that mean? Alexa. Define cactus. The noun cactus is usually defined as any of numerous succulent plants of the family Cactaceae of warm, arid regions of the New World, having fleshy, leafless, usually spiny stems, and typically having solitary, showy flowers. There you go. You're welcome, Neil. And Axpa wants me to rub some cacti on his windshield. Okay, Axpa. God damn it, no phone numbers. Multifamily, nope, no phone number. I just start I should just start looking up their phone numbers on 411.com. Okay, here is a garage sale. Moving sale. New picks. Lamps. Working electronics. Yard art. Office supplies. Tanya. Let's see if Tanya picks up. Oh, someone's going on the air. Who is it? Who just went on the air? Justin. 
What, what an asshole Justin is going on the air while I'm doing a show. Can you believe that Justin guy? He just went on the air. What a dick. Now Tanya's not going to pick up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated... Let me try Tanya three times. Oops, I meant to do this. That's for you, Ella. Your call has been... F that was a good one. But she's not even picking up, though. Call him one last time. Tanya's selling a, um, a scanner, you know, like a flatbed scanner with a serial port. You know, if all your... Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice... If all your USB ports are all used up, it's really convenient because there's a serial port on this one. I should just turn on music while I'm searching. Huge multifamily sale. Indoors. I hate those. I hate when there's a yard sale and you have to go in their house. That's always awkward. Well, shit. Super garage sale. Nope, no phone number. No phone number. No phone number. Dan's man sale. Women's stuff too. No phone number. I want to go to Dan's man sale. God damn it. Where's the phone numbers? Hey, you know, I just remembered, um, I got this email from uh, Frank. And Frank says, garage sales in, I don't want to mention the place, but, uh, oh, come on. I got to allow ads to see this. God damn it. God damn it, Frank. So it's a newspaper. Um. All right, allowed ads now. A bunch of shits popping up. Um, so these are newspaper ads, but there's no phone numbers on them. Why'd you send me these, Frank? There's no phone numbers. What am I supposed to do? Visit them? What the hell, Frank? God damn it, Frank! 
I mean, I could look up their addresses, but what are the odds? They're going to have a phone number listed. I mean, thanks, Frank, but... And then, okay, he sent me another link, but it's even more confusing. It's just a Google map. What the hell is this? The Homeowners Association, okay. Oh, yeah. <sighs> what are you doing, Frank? <laughs> Damn weirdo. Okay, I, I don't know what to do with this, Frank. I'm sorry. Thank, thank you for sending it to me, I guess. But, you know, actually... Still looking... Let's take a break. Three songs. Let's all go uh, pee simultaneously together. It'll be fun. Let's take a 10 minute break and then I'll be back. I'll find a new area for uh, garage sales. Be right back. Hey, get back here. For the kids stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head. Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. This guy said, "Freeze, hands up, little babies, running around and acting crazy, dancing like you're Patrick Swayze. Hands to the sky, stick 'em up, handcuffed. Lake Hills Juvenile Police Task Force." Forcing kids to go to jail for no reason, for no reason, so welcome home. So many red jumpsuits, you might think it's a Santa Claus convention. Welcome to juvenile detention. This one's for the kids, stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head. Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. Behind these walls, you gotta survive. With no PlayStation or Xbox Live, the guards threw us crusty tether balls. And in the yard, we heard the calls. We heard girls screaming, we need some dick. Hop over the wall and make it quick. But this wall, this wall is too tall. I wish I was the liquid metal terminator. This one's for the kids stuck in JDC without their some girls, girls to give them head. Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. This one's for the kids stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head. Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. Behind these walls, these walls of pain. Pain and anguish. I might go insane Locked away Tossed away Thrown away Every day for three weeks Gotta serve my three week sentence Three weeks I think I'm going crazy This one's for the kids Stuck in JDC Without their meds Their meds Looking for some girls Girls to give them head Where are the girls? We need some blowjobs. This one's for the kids stuck in JDC without their meds. Their meds. Looking for some girls, girls to give them head. Where are the girls? Uh, uh, yeah, Chris is. Who is it? EPP boys uh, and right. girls. It's my favorite. Let's do this. Yeah. Here we go. Do it. I want raw fish yeah. or maybe slightly cooked. Do it. I don't care. I'll eat it straight off the hook. I'll buy a book on how to serve fish meat wrapped in seaweed with cream cheese, please. 
cheese. I like smoked salmon because it's slightly raw. I'll eat sushi in the summer or the fall. Winter or spring, I want the cream cheese creamy. Give me red tuna and make it sashimi. If I could get sushi as a pizza topping, my LOL money is what I would be dropping. Barbecue eel, I want it for real. It's my favorite part of any meal. I'll seal the deal with a little wasabi. Eating with chopsticks, my number one hobby. Tempura, tuna, snapper, salmon, squid, roll you. And if I could, I would even eat Cthulhu. Just like Brexion, I like sushi too, but I prefer pasta. I'm, I'm Italian, Italian dude. dude. Fettuccine, bow ties, linguine, and penne. Undercooked a little, al dente. Marinara, alfredo, vodka, pesto. These are some that I consider best, yo. Mamma mia, can you believe it? I've even had pasta on top of pizza. Yummy in my tummy, it's the perfect combo. But nothing beats it when you throw in a beer, though. How could I forget to mention calzones? I was eating these. Before I had a cell phone, I guess I just like Italian food in general. Eating it while watching Comedy Central, waiting for Futurama to return to the air. But for now, I'll relax and eat some angel hair.
for a couple days. Put on some disguises and hop on a plane in a Fuzzy Bear suit sitting next to a robot with a mustache. A robot with a mustache! I'm not afraid anymore! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid anymore! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid anymore! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid! I'm not afraid anymore! Do you hear me? I'm not afraid! I guess we're back. That was three songs. I've been looking up uh, yard sales, and I got like um, four or five of them lined up. I'm still looking, trying to get a couple more. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Opening them up in new tabs and stuff. So maybe I'll have a few. Here's an awesome yard sale. There was another one that was a fantastic yard sale. I don't know which one's better. Community yard sale. I think I'm just gonna try uh, a few more of these and then I'm quitting for the day. I don't know why I'm still looking. I got a bunch of these lined up already. I just wanna, I don't know. I just, just I, I, I don't know, I want one more. One more, and then I'll start. Just one more. Big yard sale Sunday. Nope. Moving sale. Nope. Oh, there we go. Their featured image is a uh, digital camera, like a little Instamatic thing, because people want those these days in 2019. Everyone wants a standalone digital camera. All right, that one had a phone number and I'm still looking. Why am I still looking? Just stop. Just stop, Brad. Just start making calls. What are you doing? Okay, I'm done. Um, here we go. I'm gonna call the first one. Um, what did I wanna do? Oh yeah, I wanna set up my own table like uh, Brian. No, not Brian. Paradise Parks Inc. wants me to do. Uh, Chisu um, did a super chat and says, I've had di diarrhea for a week. Help me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Kelly is having a all kinds of stuff sale. One man's junk is another one's treasure. That's a weird thing for Kelly to say. Not that I'm making any assumptions about gender in 2019. I don't want any trouble. I don't want to get boycotted for saying the wrong thing. Got to be careful these days. Red tricycle. Kids stuff, medical equipment. Hello? Kelly? Hello? Hello? C can you hear me, Kelly? Hello? It's hard to hear you. What happened to your phone? It's, I just kind of hear you like off in the background. It sounds like the phone's dangling. <laughs> I, it, I, I, I heard a laugh. Kelly? Kel Kelly? Kelly? Why can't I hear you? Is it just a bad connection? It sounds like it's your phone, to be honest. Whoa. Hello? Oh, there you are. Oh, my gosh, Kelly. Thank God. Hi, what's up? Oh, hey. Uh, I'm, this is Brad. 
um, a call about that yard sale. You're still having it, right? Oh, yeah. I have a big Pete, though, yeah. You, you have a great big Pete? What? Where are you located? Uh, I'm I'm here in town. I'm I'm here in the same town. I I wanted to let you know that um I'm gonna be coming over here in just a little bit to your yard sale. Oh, no, uh, uh it's not going. Uh, um, I'm not home today. Oh, I thought you were having a yard sale. No, I didn't say anything about yard sale. I just ha I have some people. Sale, but I'm not home today. I'm sorry. I'll oh, be home today. I'm oh, already out. No, it's in the garage sale section on Craigslist. You listed it under garage and moving sales. Oh, that was wrong. I better fix that. Okay. All right. Thanks for that. Well, no, I've got it taken care of. I'm coming over with a table. Ah, Kelly hung up. God damn it, Kelly. <sighs> All right. This next one's going to work out. Next one is an indoor sale. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, wait, no. Part of it's outdoors. Just the lawn furniture is outdoors. The rest of it's all inside. Moving sale, furniture, clothes, house, decor, Dennis. So out in the driveway, it's just... Um, you know, it's just tables and chairs. There's a hammock, a big umbrella table, stuff like that. Like the, the garage. Hello, is... Oh, hello, Dennis. Yes. Hey, I was calling about your, uh, what is it, a house sale? You have to go inside? Well, we do have some furniture that was just too large to bring outside, so. Oh, you're weak. We have some furniture in the side. Oh, you're weak. Okay. And then that. Um... Uh, uh, I was gonna. I'm and gonna. We have some stuff outside. Yeah. Um, is there Thank enough? You. Is there enough room in the driveway still? Like, is there spare room in the driveway? Could I pull in with a trailer or something? Is well, that no, what you're thinking? I'm gonna set up a table and I'm gonna sell some things in your driveway. What? What are you gonna? What are you gonna sell in my driveway? I have people coming in and out of it. Oh no! I'll I'll just be off to the side. You know. Uh, I've got some knickknacks. I've got picture frames. Um, I don't know. I've got, got some vases. I've got... Got... No, I'm selling them myself, though. Like, I'm just going to sell some things. I've got oil lamps. Uh, I've got we, an old, old record player. We haven't had any. Cause we have, I, I would say you'd be wasting your time because we've had all day maybe three people stop. Yeah, but I'm going to try. I think. I, I put another ad up. I put one up on. Um, did you put one up on Facebook Marketplace? I don't know if my wife did or not. Yeah. I not. Well, I saw your ad on Craigslist. I put one up on Facebook Marketplace also. So I think we might get more customers. So I'm on my way with the table. I'm going to set up a table and I've got a chair and I'm going to sell some of my things. Got some old. Uh, I would say don't put it in your driveway. Oh no, I'm I'm gonna put it in your drive because your driveway is not even that full. You've just got that lawn furniture out there mostly. Yeah, uh, that I have people coming to pick up the lawn furniture, so I don't want to block the driveway. Oh, okay. I'll just push the lawn furniture over to the side since you've it's already sold, and I'll make room for my table. I'll, well, I'll just, I'm just gonna set it up on the side. You'll be out in the sun. Yeah, You'll it's cool. It's cool. I'm from Texas. All right. I don't mind a little bit of sun. I ain't afraid of no sun. Yeah, I, I don't. No, I don't think I want it. No, I'm not asking. I'm, I'm just gonna show up. I've got a big long. I've got an eight foot table, and I've got tons of knickknacks. I've got some boxes I'm gonna put in front of the table. I've got a free box even. No. I've got a box of like no. old stuffed animals and oh. puzzles and stuff. Those are free. Oh. I, I wasn't finished telling Dennis what all I have. <laughs> That's not how you spell Dennis. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, sorry, I hit it with my button, but I. Oh, it's okay. I yeah, I, I, we I wasn't want, finished. We don't want anything here. I wasn't finished telling you what I have. I have um, 
I have some answers. It doesn't matter. I don't want anything put up. I'd work. Oh, no, you don't have to worry about it. I, I'm going to do it all myself. I'll take the money myself and everything. I've got my own little cash box. I've got ones. No. If you need any extra ones, I've got no. a bunch of ones. No. So I'm going to be there in about 10 minutes, no. and I'm going to set up my table. No, I'll call the sheriff then. No, don't call I the sheriff. No. I'm just trying to – it's a community. Then get – your yard sale no. in the community, right? Uh, like I have a legal right to be there. No, no, it, it's fine. I, I've, you I've. Don't. Yes, I do. I, I'm just gonna hang out in your driveway and set up a table. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Go into the middle of the road. You're not hanging out in there. So, middle show the... up. I'm calling the sheriff. I'm calling the sheriff now. And tell him you're on your way. No, okay. I'll I'll do it in the sidewalk then. That's fine. You can do it on the sidewalk because there isn't any sidewalk. But I own to the middle of the road. No, not in the middle of the road. Just on the side of the road. I'm just going to set up right in I front of... I own to the middle of the road, and I said no. No, you don't. Don't be silly. You're not I'm, coming. I'm going to no. I'm gonna set up, like, right in front of your driveway. Like... Okay. Dennis is uh, not not a fan of working together. Hijinx wants me to do the lemonade stand thing. Yes, I need to add that to the next one. Biz yard and shop sale. So is this a business? That might be even funnier if it's a business. Like, what business is this? It looks... It does... I can't tell. Is this a business or is this someone's driveway? I guess we're going to find out. We're going to call RJ. We're going to be co-business owners now. Maybe I'll give RJ like 20%. That's what I'll do. Come on, RJ. RJ is selling jewel. Hello. Oh, hey, our RJ. RJ? Oh, fuck. 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 Hello. Hey, RJ. It's uh, Brad. I'm, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be there in about uh, 15 minutes. I'm on the way now in my van. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I've got a table, and I want to set up a table out in front, and I want to sell my some of my stuff. And also, Who is this? Uh, my name is Brad. Right. Yeah, I live here in Caldwell. Yeah, um, huh? No, go ahead. Uh, also, my, my daughter is coming with me. Uh, she's got her own little table. She's selling lemonade today. She's going to sell lemonade, and I'm going to sell knickknacks. I have, like, some some vases, well, some I'm pretty, pic- picture frames. We haven't really had a lot of people today. Yeah. Because I, I was thinking about closing up early. Oh, no, don't do that because I put up another ad for you. I put one up on Facebook Marketplace. I know. That's where my daughter does it. Oh, well, I found your ad on Craigslist. I thought Facebook Market... I have more yeah. followers on yeah. Facebook, so you'll probably get more people since, uh, you know, since I put an ad I, up. Do I know you? No, no, I just live here in town. But I'm going to set up a table. I'm going to sell I'm gonna sell knickknacks, and I've got, like, a bunch of answering machines and puzzles, and I've got a... Fr- yeah, probably not this weekend, though, because I'm a mechanic, too. Oh, no. I'm, I, that's I'm, why I was going to close it up early. No, I'm on my way. I mean, you can close up if you want, but I'm going to stay out in front. I'm going to stay out in front with my table and not, I'm just going to yeah, stick not it at my out. Place, you're not. No, I am. I'm, I'm just going to stick you're it not out. Gonna push. No, you're not. We're, we're just I don't gonna, know who you are, but you ain't. We're just going to stay till like so, maybe four o'clock. No, maybe. no, you're not. You don't call me and tell me you're going to do something. Like maybe this is my place. I know, but like, like I don't care what you're going to set up. Don't be. You ain't coming out to my house and setting your shit up in my yard. What? You gonna, I don't know who you are. You call my daughter's lemonade stand shit. Oh, <laughs> Fucking RJ.
<laughs> he needs to fix your car while you watch his yard sale. Yeah, I think it's some kind of a business. There, there's a bunch of cars and stuff in the back. And he said he's a mechanic. It looks like it's just a storage unit or something. It's just like filled with crap. But he's got it out, all out on tables. And they're like plywood tables on sawhorses. What a hobo. All right. This next one is in a residential area, an actual yard. I want to do that one more time. I want to I want to try that one more time on this one. Mr. Big says it's good lemonade. Everyone thinks so. Check out the reviews at lemonparty.org. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Brad. I'm calling about your yard sale. Okay. What can I do to help you? Well, I'm coming over with a table. I'm going to set up a table out in front, and I'm going to sell things, too, at your yard. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set it up. Well, huh, what? We've just pulled everything in, and we're shutting her down. Oh, cool. So it's I getting get... too hot out there for us. Oh, don't be a pussy. Come on. It's, it's, uh, yeah. I, I've got an umbrella. I'm going to sit there with an umbrella. I ain't no pussy. But yeah, I'm gonna set up a table in your driveway, and I'm gonna sell some things. Just uh, for a couple okay. hours, for a couple hours. I mean, come on, it's it's not even it's it's barely past noon, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Too I, hot. This is a residential area, and so I I don't think it'd be good to set up a commercial booth no it's not a commercial booth i, I just uh I, I don't run a business or anything i'm just setting up a table i've got a bunch of knickknacks for sale i've got a crock pot i've got some dishware uh I, i've got a bunch of clothes well, just a, just across the street across the street what do you mean and over a block from us uh -huh. is a, a guy that's still running his yard sale and he's at the end of a cul-de-sac, so it's a very large area a with no homes cul -de -sac. to shut up by him. Yeah, that sounds like nobody would see and it because it's way back there. Fuck that shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a, they'll come in there for a yard sale. All you do is follow the signs there. Yeah. No, it'll lead you right to them. No, it's cool. I'll, I'll just do your driveway because you're, you're putting everything away, so I can just use the space since you're putting your stuff away. I'm, I've got a big table like an eight-foot-long table, and my daughter's coming with me. She's going to sell lemonade. Uh, I've got my dog with us. The dog's just going to hang out here. It's a very friendly dog. All the kids that come right. to the yard sale can pet it. I've got some power. Yeah, what I've already told you was no. Yeah. Well, no. I also told you this guy down the street. Yeah, but just you're... run down there and... You're, you're, being, you're being unreasonable, though. Uh, I've got some, some pants and some shirts and stuff I'm going to sell. On a table in your driveway? The only thing unreasonable is to call somebody on the phone you don't know and tell them you're going to set up a a selling table. Well, you ought to keep yours so, going. Keep yours going. You know, I wasn't like, born yesterday. I can tell. You sound like you're 100. Uh, no, but I'm 70. Close enough. So I'm old enough to know better. Same thing. But yeah, you should just keep yours going. Let's let's be co-business partners. Let's yeah. Let's sell, go let's, to the guy down the street here. No, no, I'm gonna set it up in your driveway. No, you're not. Yes, I am. It, it's it's like it, it, my my daughter is gonna sell lemonade. You can't say no to my daughter. She she's selling. What are, you, what are you, some kind of weirdo or something? It's good lemonade. No, there's reviews. No, thank you. Goodbye. But sir, I've got mirrors and and <laughs> knickknacks. I'm just looking at the stuff he has on his yard sale. 
You've got rugs <laughs> and a tent, totes. All right, next. Nobody wants to work together. Individual Intent wants me to tell them they need to cancel their yard sale because the city is coming to dig a hole in their yard on a Sunday. Come on. That's a super chat. Thank you, Individual Intent, for that. I might do it. Maybe. I don't know. Will they believe it, though? I mean, like, it's it's Sunday. Cities don't work on Sundays. Oh, this guy doesn't even have an address on his. Wait. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your yard sale. Yes. It's on Craigslist, but you were a stupid. You didn't put the address on there. So how do I know how to get there? Oh, God. All right. Why did I do that? I ruined it. That's my fault. But really, I mean, it's it's like it's a, it's a moving out of state sale. Start time today. Google map. There's no... There's no dot on the map, it's just like in the middle of the city. Whatever. All right, so this next one is um, possibly not a yard sale. It's uh, two old stoves, one generator, not sure if they work. It's just a guy selling a couple of things. It's not actually a yard sale. It has a, it has the address though. And it has his name, it's Pete. Good old Pete. What am I going to say to this guy? Yeah, Areola, I should have Offer to split the profits with that guy. That would have helped sweeten the deal for him. Maybe I should um, say I'm going to set up a table and I'm going to sell multi-level marketing opportunities. But this guy's not even doing a yard sale, so... Hey, Pete. Speaking. Hey, it's Brad. How's your yard sale going today? Going pretty good. How you been? Uh, uh yeah, I'm doing great. I'm actually not. I'm actually yeah. I'm actually not having one today, but everything's good. Oh, you listed it in the yard sale section. So anyway, I'm coming over with a table. I'm gonna set up a table in your yard, and I'm gonna sell some things too. Uh, uh, yeah, you can't do that, man. I'm not even having a garage sale. Well, I know, that, but I couldn't do that anyway. yeah, I didn't think you were because like it just it just shows you're selling a generator and a stove and stuff. Did you sell them yet? Yeah, I've did, did they... no, I'm actually gonna put them up for free. You want them? No, but um, no, you should put them out because I'm gonna put a table up in your yard and I'm gonna sell some things. Like, did... yeah, no, you can't do that. Have you had people showing up, like come, driving by and looking and wondering where the yard sale is? No. Well, you don't know. I mean, they may have drove by and you just didn't see them. But well, I don't. I don't think I even have the address up there. Oh no, you do. Thirteen thirty West Overland, right? Yeah, that's a, that's not even my address. Who's the address? Why would you put someone else's address? Because I'm just trying to get rid of it. It's not an actual garage sale. But why would you put? A, why would you put a fake address? It's not a fake address. It's a friend of mine's business. What's What's the business? And anyway, you can't you can't do that. I wouldn't let you do that even if I was having a garage sale. 
Okay. Um, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Like, yeah, sorry about that. What, what, kind, what kind of... Is this business no, you, so open? No, you can't do it anyway because the cops are going to come kick you out of there. No, they won't. I'm going to do it on the public... You can't go to my yard and you can't have a garage sale in my yard. I'm going to do it Thank on the public... Hey, hey, sir, sir. <laughs> so it, yeah, it does look like it's a business on a on a highway. I'm trying to see which business, though. It's not telling me. For some reason, I can't look at the street view. Server error. What the fuck, Google Maps? What are you doing? Let me refresh. Oh, my God. What is wrong with Google Maps today? Am I being DDoSed? Listeners, please stop DDoSing me. I'm trying to do a show here. Something weird's happening. All right. Screw it. I'll, I'll just... Who cares? I wanted to call the business. <laughs> Hey, Pete gave me permission to come over and sell some things at your business. This one doesn't have an actual address. It just has, you know, the, the intersection where it's located at. You know. Did I get kicked off of YouTube? Holy shit. I just noticed YouTube's not coming in anymore. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? I didn't end the stream. Did, did the music get it kicked off? No, no, I'm live. It just doesn't show how many viewers I have right now. Am I on YouTube, you guys? It doesn't matter. I'm getting ready to end the show anyway. But what happened? What happened? I tried to play music that wasn't going to get me kicked off. Oh, no. It says I'm live now. And if I go to it, can I hear it? Okay. Yeah. I'm live. It's fine. The chat room was being really quiet. What the hell, chat room? Do I need to refresh? I think I am having internet problems. I think I am being DDoSed. Please stop DDoSing me, everyone. Oh, shit. I just fucked up. Did I just knock it offline now? Let's take a quick break. Figure this out. Amway Arena! Yeah. I'm a rapper, but it doesn't even matter. Cause when I see red, I'm a disaster to plaster. I punch the wall faster. Wall punch master, plaster blaster. I'm so pissed, I don't give a fuck though. Taking my fist and start beating at the stucco. Mom, stop being a bitch. Take me to the mall or the walls all fall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. I'm so pissed. I can't handle it. Ball up my fist. Give the wall knuckle sandwiches. Fuck this plaster. I wall punch daily. Uppercut mainly. How do you get moving? Don't judge me. You don't know me. Try and walk a mile in my fucking shoes. Front page news. Speaking of shoes. Mom, take me to the mall. No. I'll punch the fucking wall. Destruction. Plaster eruption. I'm gonna give the fucking wall a concussion. This song's a hit going out to all crews. The number one song for you to punch walls to. So tough with a real short fuse. Yeah. Mom won't take me to the mall. Huh? I'll punch the wall. The number one wall puncher in my town. My mom or the wall's not gonna boss me around. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. When I get mad, I punch the wall. Punch the wall. Punch, punch the wall. Okay, so I, like, I don't know. Shit, shit's getting weird here. I feel like my minutes are numbered on this show. 
Uh, I appear to still be online. I can go to youtube.com slash phone losers of America and there it says right there I'm online. I can listen to my own show. But I'm no longer on the live page. And wait, I guess I can go to this page and, and see the chat room. I'm not seeing new chats. Live chat. Let's see the live chat. But anyway, fuck it. I'm just going to keep doing the show. It looks like I'm still online. I guess. YouTube chat is broken, says Stallman. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because like I didn't see new stuff coming in. All right, fuck YouTube. I'm just going to keep an eye on the Mixler chat for the rest of the show, which isn't going to be too much longer. Um, any ideas, Mixler chat? What am I saying to this next person whose name is Lor Laurel? Laurel has power tools, bikes, camping gear, a lawnmower, a wheel a wheelbarrow. You know those wheelbarrows? Hey, Neon Like Bjork. How you doing? I haven't seen you in a live show forever. Oh man, they hung up on me. They just picked up and hung up, I think. They sold they sold my GPS tracer, what? It's so weird that YouTube's being being all crazy at me. You have reached the voicemail box of two zero eight. But I've also had computer problems the past few days. Hey, yeah, what the hell? There's no phone number on this one. I had it marked as having a phone number. Okay, here's the one that has the uh, digital Instamatic camera. <laughs> she's holding the camera and she's also got a lighter in her hand. Can't put that lighter down. Get a lighter with money wrapped around it. Speakers. I want to do this sort of idea um, of, 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 oh man, Stallman's. Ask if anything's haunted. Okay. This is the last one I have marked as having a phone number. Electronics, baby and woman stuff. Hello? Hey, Nicole. Huh? Nicole? Yeah. Oh, hey, I was at your yard sale. I bought the thing, you know, the machine, the electronic thing, the, you remember the, the thing? Uh, the, I don't know what a thing is. I've sold a lot of things. Well, the the electric thing. Like, uh, I, I, I okay, can you be more specific on the electric thing? Was it was it digital? Was it like a camera or a speaker thing? You know the speakers. Speakers. Yes, the the, the um, what kind of speakers? The, the the one they're like black and they have. Uh, big cone things inside of them. You how long ago? I don't. Not that long ago. Um, like you don't have to give me the third degree. Well, I got it home and I opened it up. You know, I took it apart. Okay. And there's a GPS tracker inside. What? what um. Why, why'd you sell me a? A working like why? Why are you trying to track where I live? That's weird. Um, I don't know what you're talking about because the only speakers I had for sale are still sitting here. No, not the speakers. The elect the other thing. You know, remember I bought the thing, the electronic thing, the electric thing. I you you got to be more specific than electric thing. Electric thing could be electric anything. You know, I don't know what it is at this point because it's got a G basically you sold me the GPS tracker. With a housing on it, with an unusual. Can you send me a picture? 
I can't get pictures on my phone. Why can't you get pictures on your phone? Because my phone's stupid. Can I have you send it to a different phone number? Is, and is then it, maybe is, I can... Is, is, is that why you have the dig- digital camera? Like, do you use the digital camera to take pictures? Um, dude, I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. Because if there's a GPS tracker in there, I sure as the hell did not put that in there, dude. You, you shouldn't be tracking pe- your customers' movements like that. That's that's not cool. You think I'm tracking you, dude? You think I'm gonna go? To, I don't even know who the fuck you are. You think I'm gonna go to the length yeah, of but, tracking who the hell you are like, and where you're going? What are you, pl- you are fucking crazy, dude. Are you pl- <laughs> are you planning to come like come to my house and like steal it back from me or something? Because this thing's got to be expensive. Um, what are you even talking about? You know, the most expensive thing in my yard sale is still fucking here, and it's a soda machine. Yeah, but how many other things have GPS trackers inside of them? Fucking nothing, because I don't even know what the fuck you're talking like, about, dude. You're invading I my... I don't even know how you got my fucking number. You're invading my privacy. Like, why would you do so this? So, technically, you're the one fucking calling me and being a fucking creeper on me, because I don't even know who you are. I don't even know what I fucking supposedly sold you. And you said not long, too long ago? Like, what, not lo- too long ago? Like, a week ago? Or, like, a month ago? Or when? Don't be a bitch about it. You're invading my privacy. No, I am I, I not just... invading your goddamn privacy because you're the one who's fucking calling me and telling me I'm fucking stalking you, dude. I don't even know who you are, where you're from, or what you even fucking bought from me. So you know what? Take your that GPS tracker and shove it up your ass because I don't know what it is. I'm not on it, and you can go fuck off. You're probably watching me on your phone right now because there's a camera on this thing. Oh, there she goes. Whoa. <laughs> Got real. I was hoping she'd help me out and tell me what she sold, but she wouldn't tell me anything. Man, this is so weird about YouTube. What happened? What happened? It just says this operation is unavailable now. Sorry, YouTube. Um, if you want to get in on the chat room, though, YouTube listeners, you should go to this uh, the URL that's scrolling on the bottom of the screen. It's uh, the Mixler one. There's a chat room on there. It is Mixler.com slash is this thing on. Go there and you can be in the chat room. It'll be fun. Fucking YouTube. Let me call Nicole back. What do you want, dude? Hey, I took the battery out of the tracker. You can't track me anymore, Nicole. Okay, good for you, dude, because I'm not tracking you. I don't know why you think you're so special that I would track you. I know you're not tracking me because I took the battery Who out. Who are you, dude? What, what, is it, what is this electric, electric thing you're even talking about? Because I'm trying to even understand or comprehend a GPS tracker and something because I'm trying to even think of what I sold you. How long ago did I sell this to you? You're just asking which one it is so you know which person to track, but you you know which one it is? It's the one no, that you're it just, doesn't... No, you're stupid, it dude. It doesn't work anymore because I took the battery what? out. You didn't expect... Okay, good. Okay, now tell me what it is since you took the battery out and I can't track you. You didn't, you didn't expect people to open up the items and find the trackers inside, did you? God, do you think everybody's out to get you, dude? No, you're the one putting a tracker in I'm a fucking single goddamn fucking mother, and you think I'm going to fucking be tracking you to try to get some fucking stupid back? Are you trying to find what a man? What did I even charge you for the item? What even is it? Are you trying to find a man? What like, is it? You're like trying to track people and no, stalk them? No, you're so you fucking don't even. I have a boyfriend, find dude. Find yourself a boyfriend. I have a goddamn boyfriend. You just said you're single. I have a fucking boyfriend. You said you're single. Why'd no, you say you're single I'm a then? single mom because my fucking sperm donor is a piece of shit. But yeah, I do have a goddamn boyfriend, you're, dude. You're not single if you got a boyfriend, you idiot. Okay, so dude, um, what the fuck is it that I sold you Look, so I can kind of... Nicole, I'm just not interested, okay? I, I'm not interested in you. Okay. Like, I'm yeah, not, I don't want not, you, dude. I I'm don't even know who you. the fuck you are. Why are you calling me? How did you even get my goddamn number? It was written on the fucking tracker. Fucking lose it, idiot. It was written on the tracker. It was written on the tracker here. Okay. <laughs> Ariola says there's a sounds like there's a reason she's single. Okay, that was the last one that I found. Man, what the...
the fuck, YouTube? The day I do a live show, YouTube's erroring out. Mr. Big sent me a message. He said the chat's not working for him either. So that's good. I thought it was me. I thought my computer was freaking out again. I had some issues with that last week. Tried to play GTA last night and it just loaded forever. It, like couldn't load GTA. I think I need to just uh, wipe out my computer or something and start over. I don't know what happened. Twenty-five cent yard sale. First two items, one dollar each. Each additional item is twenty-five cents each. It's all written on a board. <laughs> That's weird. Sunday yard sale. No phone number. Last chance Sunday. Hey, there's a phone number. They got furniture, clothes, books, DVDs. Thanks, uh, whoever gave me the tracking idea. I don't think that's what you had in mind, but it still worked out really well. Mr. Uh, Mixler person. Uh, we got some, some uh, books. Lots of books. We got clothes. Got some uh, video game guides, like playthrough guides, like old ones, like Zelda and Crash Bandicoot and stuff. You're on the air. Who the fuck is this? Oh, I have I have nothing. <laughs> okay, good job. Thanks for calling in. No bad job. I know I'm a failure. What's your name? John. Oh, you, if Margaret picks up, you have to talk to Margaret. Maybe. I don't know. Do you want to do a, a yard sale call? Or do you want me to talk to her? You can talk to her. I don't want to talk to Margaret. She sounds old. What's your name? Oh, John. John, okay. Yeah. John what? No, you're a who. No, no, my name's what? Who? W H. O T what? Who? What? Every time someone calls in, hey, I... you reached Margaret. Leave a message. Every time someone calls in, I don't get an answer. And it's your fault. I'm not getting an answer. Hello, Margaret. What? Uh, geez, don't yell at me. I'm calling about the yard sale. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay. what you need? Set huh? Gee, settle, settle the fuck down, Margaret. I've, I've got John on the phone <laughs> with me. Uh, well, hey. You've got who? John. It's my partner, John. Uh, oh. I, yeah, I was a little embarrassed, um, so I needed, uh, I needed, um, needed Steve to, uh, to talk for me. But now, now, I, now I feel strong enough to let you know that uh, I really need to. Uh, do you have any butt plugs at your yard sale? No, stop it, John. No. This is not the place. Margaret, we're coming over with the table. We're going to sell things in your driveway. No, you're not. Me and John are. No, we're going to have like an adult section. No. We're going to have... He's asking... No, no, you're not. Yes, we are. We're coming over. We're going to sell things. Oh. <laughs> you and your butt plugs, John. And we're going to... We're going to sell it for oh, 50 she, cents a jar. She, she hung up. Let me try her one more time. <laughs> You're ruining everything with your damn butt plugs. <laughs> hey, you reached Margaret. Leave uh, a message. I'll Mar call you back. Thanks. Okay, one, one more try for Margaret. I'm going to go. Hang up the hey, phone, you right? Margaret, leave a message. I'll you, call you. You hang it up. You hang it right up. Okay, I hung up on John because he stopped talking. That's the reason. That's the only reason. That was fun. <laughs> Thanks for that, John. Man, Margaret just yelled at me. Like, just right off the bat. This one says a state sale, but I don't, I don't, oh, well, maybe it is. No, it's, it's a indoor thing and there's a bunch of old looking stuff in it. I would be like, LOL, who died? <laughs> mm. 
you didn't try and call Mr. Biggs. I would have seen if it was you calling in. Mr. Biggs is making up lies again. Oh, okay, Neon, like Bjork. <laughs> uh, Neon wants me to ask if I can set up a face painting table. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hey, I was calling about your estate sale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, Jesus. So good on, on stage. You, you, you actually scared me when you responded just then. I jumped. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm all spooked you, now. Oh, you get a lot of fake ones, huh? N no, no, I don't. Uh, anyway, like, we're getting off topic here. Um, so you're on Farmway Road? Yes. Okay, I'm going to come over, and I'm setting up a face painting table. Oh, you're on, um, let's see. Oh, um, oh, where are you doing your face painting? Uh, right in front of your house, in the driveway. Do you have room in the driveway? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is a prank call. No, no, I'm not a pranker. No. I, I'm, an, I'm an adult. I wouldn't make a prank call. I'm gonna no, no, we're we're doing a sale. It's an estate sale. Yeah, yeah. And so the people that come, like, do you have a lot of kids coming in? I'm gonna paint their faces. Oh, we're not looking to do any face painting, but if you are interested in doing that, um, you could come. Yeah, you could come to the complex, but you would have to talk. I don't think the management is here today. So um, I see people selling ice cream and all kinds of stuff to the kids. No, I'm going to be. So, hey, hey, I'll paint your face if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, thank you. Anyway. But uh, if, if you do want to do that face painting, there will be a lot of people interested at the complex. Oh, no, I'm going to come to the uh, 22730 Farmway Road. I'm going to set up in the driveway. Oh yeah, yeah. That it's a huge complex. You you can go ahead and come set up. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing a clown suit. I'm gonna be I'm dressed as a clown. I'm well, gonna I'm gonna paint um, faces. Oh uh, yeah, I know that you're probably meaning this as a joke. No, but honestly, that would make some good money if you did that for real. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. I'm also gonna be selling multi-level marketing. Oh, she hung up. Man, she was she she outweirded me. She wins. She won that call. But now I'm I'm like I have to do this face painting thing before I end today's show. So I want to piss somebody off with the face painting idea of neons. <laughs> Neon says I paint with my feet only. Uh oh, sales on Monday? What? But it looks like I have to change areas. Um, darn. So I'm changing areas. I wonder if YouTube's fixed yet. Sorry, YouTube, that your chat room is broken. It's not my fault. Wow, this area, every single one was a business. All right, I'm going to do a different state. Going to a different state. Um, but it's got to be a West Coast thing. But not that West Coast. Uh, 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 uh. Let's try this area. Community yard sale. No phone number. Bob stroller. What the fuck's a Bob stroller?
I can't believe Justin's doing a show again. He's going he's going on Mixler again. He's doing a show over me. Hello? Hello. Hey, I'm I'm calling about your yard sale. Oh, okay. Which one? Um, what, you have multiple yard sales? No, but what are you interested in? Um, well, you're on Blue Heron Court, right? Heron's a bird. Yes. You know that's a bird? Yes. It's a bird. It's like a bird. Um, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to do face painting in your in your driveway. I'm going to set up a table. And I'm going to have a bunch of paints and I'm going to offer to paint people's faces for $5. No thanks. No, I'm doing it. I'm coming o I'm on my way right now. I'm driving over. Bye. Don't don't hang up. Oh. Nope, I won't accept that one. I gotta keep at it. That one was no good. I'm deleting that one from the podcast version of this. No one's ever gonna hear that again. That one was so boring. I'm looking for phone numbers again. Neighborhood yard. Uh, nope, phone. Nope, phone number. Moving sale. Nope. Lots of kids' clothes. Toys. Books. Miscellaneous. Now, now Neon wants me to do balloon animals. Hi, this is Lori. Hey, Lori, I'm calling about your yard sale thing. Uh huh. It's still going on, right? Yeah, it is. I was just gonna start cleaning out, but okay. mostly kids' clothes and some little kids' toys. Is that what you're looking for? Cool. Well, no, I'm not looking for anything. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna set up a table in the driveway. I'm gonna um, do face painting and balloon animals. Yeah. I'm serious. Uh, what? I'm gonna sell face huh? painting for five dollars. I'm gonna do balloon animals for three. Oh, that's nice of you, but we're actually just closing up. No, no, you said you said it was still going on. I'm on my way. I'm in the car. No, I said it's till noon. What? No, it did not. It said starts at eight a.m. It didn't say till. Uh -huh. till it ends at noon. Well, anyway, I'm gonna just kind of be out there for a little while, whether or not you want to keep keep doing your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm just gonna do balloon animals and face painting. But uh, no thanks. Um, hey, I was wondering, like. What? Uh, I'm I'm kind of high right now. Can you let me know if I'm talking too fast or being weird while I'm there? <laughs> uh, uh, no thanks. Please don't come here. No, I'll be there. It's fine. I've got my own table. No, no I've got my own. No. I've got my change. I've got ones. If no. You need one, if you need, no. If you need no. one, ones or fives, no. I've got them. No. I'll sell them no. to you. No. Is this a joke? No, I'm not kidding. I'm a clown. I'm a, I'm in a clown suit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No, Turn down your radio. Yeah. Is this your first time <laughs> calling into a show? How does this? Who, who is this? Brad? Yeah, yeah, it's Brad. Who's this? Brad. Oh my god, I love your show so much. Oh. So oh, thanks, Mr. Biggs. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. I mean... uh, what? Yeah, I have caller ID. Ah. I, I know who you are. Fuck. All right, well. I ruined that, didn't I? Yeah, I. Yeah, kind of did. Sorry. Um, I, I don't know why I'm calling you right now. I was told that I needed to, so I'm doing it. So can I can I ruin can I ruin one of your calls by asking for butt plugs? Can I do yes. that? Yes, please. I'm I'm looking for a new area uh, area right now. Um, I'm looking for new garage yeah. sales to call. So yeah, just be a minute. So 
can I can I listen to you looking for phone numbers to call? Can yeah, I, can yeah. Do you hear my mouse clicking? I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll tell you what. While you're doing that, I will get out my pad and I'll sketch you. I'm gonna, I'll sketch it with charcoal. <laughs> okay. Hey, you can do the sketches while I do balloon animals. Oh look! I love the face painting idea. That's so fucking good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty great. Face painting and balloon animals. Um, he, here's that one. An estate sale. Here's one that's titled a uh, passed away sale. <laughs> they didn't know how to spell estate, so they just wrote he he done died sale. Uh, this it's Andy. You want to call Andy about his passed away sale? Yeah. Okay. I'll that sounds fun. <laughs> I really don't want to do this, actually. Okay. I, I don't know. No, 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 no. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Call him. Okay. All right. Are you going to do sketches? No, I'll do it. Oh, man. Hello? Hi. Can I talk to Andy, please? This is her. Oh, hi, Andy. Um, my name is Carl. Um, I saw your ad about the passed away sale. Yes, um. I just wanted to. Well, first of all, I'm sorry for your loss. I understand this oh, is a tough you. time. Um, I I was curious though. The items that you've got. Do you have any larger items? Any larger furniture items? Well, actually, we do. We have. Um, are you looking antique stuff, or what are you looking for that might be helpful? Like I've got two wing yeah. back chairs, um, some nightstands. Oh. I've got a, uh, a 1930s uh, tea cart. We've got a 1844 shift robe. Um, wow. There's a table that's, and chair set. That's a lot of um, old stuff. Who died? A secretary. Uh, my grandmother. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It sounds. She was a family ma matriarch, so. <laughs> oh there's gosh. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also have okay, a couple well, beds. Um, well, um, I don't want no beds are kind of gross. Um, I'm w mostly interested in, in old wood wood furniture, but I'm I, it's totally a deal breaker if there's any spirits associated with it. Um, she didn't die in the house, did she? No, no, no. And I totally okay. understand what you're saying. Um, I don't know if you know, yeah. but we're Native American. I, I, did, I probably didn't even put that in the ad. So we're Native American. We cleanse everything. Yeah. So I totally get what you're saying. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Did, did you use sage, though? I mean, how, how did you do sage, the cleansing? We, do, we yeah. use sage and sweet grass, and we have our eagle feathers. That's how we cleanse things. Okay. Hey, ma'am. So, ma yes. Hey, this is Brad. I'm I'm Carl's friend. Yes, sir. I'm I'm not a I'm a sir. Oh, I I, I was just saying yes. You said yes, ma'am. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing face painting while he's looking around. Okay. Do you have a driveway? A driveway? Oh, you want to do face painting in our driveway? Yeah, I'm setting up a table while he looks around. Oh, uh, I don't think my dad would be okay with that. No, it's cool. I do, I do balloon animals, too. Yeah. Did you tell her that you bring your own face paint? Tell her that you bring your own paint. I, I bring my own face paint. I'm only charging $5 for a face paint. Uh, somebody wants to set up a face painting booth in the driveway. Yeah, they were looking, they called her about looking for old furniture. and. Uh, Ma'am, you're being very rude. Oh. <laughs> I ruined your call. Hello? Carl? I'm only interested in the cart if it is clean. It's got to be clean. She she hung up. I'm going to call her right back. God. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I can't do this. <laughs> I shouldn't have told her she's being rude. Forwarded to an automatic voice message. Yeah, system. you rude. She called. She called us. Wait, are you there? Okay. She called us both, ma'ams, too. 
it's yeah, it's all that feminine energy we got going on. It's pretty palpable. Yep, that's true. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go go do your go yeah, do your show. Get Bye. get the fuck off of my show. One more face painting call before we end the show for the day. Holy shit, I've been on for two hours and 40 minutes. That can't be right. It's probably been a little bit less than that. What do you want, Anonymous? Oh, good. They hung up. I picked up for you, Anonymous, and you just hung up on me. I picked up. You've been trying to call for a while. I picked up. I gave you a chance to... To say mean things to me, Mr. Anonymous. Hello, Mr. Anonymous. Bradley. Hello. How are you doing, Bradley? Just great. How are you? I'm okay. How come you're anonymous? I'm a real old timer. Why are you anonymous for? Oh, because I don't want to display my name yet. Oh, okay. I wouldn't do anything with it. Uh, that's what you think. No, I really wouldn't. I don't believe you. Yeah. I mean, I do have the feds watching me, so they'd have your phone number, so you don't want that. Yeah, they're probably watching me, too. Yeah. They're watching the all of we us. Should, we should just bring the old AT&T mainframe on the phone. Yep, that's... I should do that. Yep, uh-huh. Oh. No, I'll do it. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. Go ahead. I don't know if I should. Bring it on. Oh, boy. We're going to tear the pants off each other. Here we go. Hold on a second. Okay, something's happening. I think I found a yard sale. AT&T. Oh, shit. It's an emergency. Hang up and dial 911 I'm going to hang up and dial 911. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. But I'm calling the next yard sale. Thank you, Anonymous, for bringing AT&T on the phone. Did he add me to a conference or something? I don't trust Anonymous people. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your yard sale. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's still happening? Yeah. Still? still yes. All righty, then... I'm going to be over in about okay. 15 minutes. Okay. Do you have a lot of a lot of people coming in? Um not at the moment. Okay, I'm going to help bring them in. I'm dressed like a clown. Okay. I'm a clown. I'm dressed like a clown. Uh-huh. Uh I'm going to be do- okay. I'm going to be doing face painting in your driveway. Um I'm going to set up a table. I'm going to do face painting. Ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Hello? Hello. I'm going to be doing face painting and balloon animals in your yard sale. Oh, uh, where? Like in your driveway. Like in your yard. I'm going to set up a table in your yard and I'm going to do face painting. Oh, you know, um. I advertised it on my website already. It's too late. I'm coming. Like uh, you're gonna get more. Uh, what do you mean? More people are gonna show up to your yard sale because I'll be there. I'm in. A, I'm in a full clown suit. Huh? I've got a white face and yeah, everything. Yeah, but um, you didn't ask me permission for that. Yeah, but I already put it on my website. I already posted it on my Facebook, so people are on their way to come and get their face painted. And she hung up. Why'd she hang up on me? I didn't get to tell her about the balloon animals. Better pick up. Your call has been forwarded to. All right, she won't pick up. Um, I just want to do like. I, I wanna I wanna get one more good face painting call or have I had any good face painting calls? Doesn't seem like I completely have. This is definitely something I wanna do on a future show. 
is more face painting calls. Because that's hilarious. <laughs> I want to be a clown, do balloon animals, and maybe when uh, I'm not doing face painting, I could sell multi-level marketing kits. <laughs> if I can find another phone number, it's not looking good. I think I'm almost done here. Big yard sale Sunday. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. How about this area? Corbin wants me to do some parkour off of people's sale items. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. You'd think they'd welcome the, the, the promotion, you know? Like, how many yard sales have a clown out front doing balloon animals and face painting? All that stuff. It's a great idea. I'd be all for that. Can't believe we tried to do face painting at a passed away sale. Such jerks. All right, here we go. Wait, is this a... I want to make sure. Is this a real yard sale? I don't know. This is kind of indoor looking. But it's in the yard sale section, so I'm allowed to do face painting. I think this could be a store. And here, just to make sure, I want to change my color ID. All right, here we go. Yeah, they have to avoid eye contact, right? You tell the kids not to look at me. Very self-conscious. I'm calling about your garage sale. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to be there in about 15 minutes. Okay. It, it's still going on, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I'm I'm dressed. I'm, I'm a clown. I'm going to be dressed like a clown, and uh, I'm going to set up a table. I'm going to do face painting and balloon animals out front. Uh, you, you, you're kidding? No, no, I wouldn't kid about this. I, I do this at a lot of yard sales. It's a good way to get business, and it, it you know it promotes the yard sales and stuff because people see a clown and they stop. And uh, I do, okay. I do, I do face painting for five dollars and balloon animals for three. Okay. Yep. Um, and I sell multi-level marketing kits. Okay. So, yeah, I'll have my own table. You don't have to uh, help me at all. I'll be fine. Uh, I got a table okay. and a chair and face painting stuff. Okay. Yep. So uh, I should. Okay, just... that's that's about the craziest thing I've ever heard. But what? It's uh... like people, the clowns are real. You know, like I do birthday parties and stuff. I, I'm going to hand out business cards for my clown services. <laughs> okay. Like, why do you think clowns are weird? Like, you're making me feel like kind of weird oh, about coming no, over. Oh no, no, it, it's it's um. Yeah, it's just something that I've never heard before, um, oh. and I was just, I'm taking taking a little aback. But... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Is uh -huh. there room like is there room in your driveway or the yard for me to yeah. sit? Yeah, yeah, there is. I just have a card table with all my paints and balloon animals on it. Okay. Yep, and uh, I'll I'll be right out there out front. So I'll, I'll probably okay. I'll probably uh, you know get them to spend their money on me. I hope they have some left for you. They probably will. Okay. It'll bring more people in. Okay. 
Is it going to be cool if I use the bathroom occasionally? I have IBS. Um, no, I don't have a bathroom for commercial. Um, for commercial. So the bathroom would be my private bathroom. Well, I'm not commercial. Um, it's it's. I'm just you know I'm I'm I, I'm just a person. I'm just a guy trying to make a living. I know, but I have commercial. I have thousands of dollars worth of stuff in the back, and I'm just not Whoa. letting somebody go back into the back. Oh, with so th- my stuff. is this even a garage sale? This sounds like a store. This is a store. It's second chance sales. Oh, you put, um, you I put do it, estate liquidation. You put it in the garage sales. That's kind of dishonest. Correct, because because that's what I basically do is it's all garage sale stuff. It's a it's a an estate liquidation store. Yeah, so you're just like a, a <laughs> junk shop. You're not like it's not really a garage sale. Well, it's just, not junk. Yeah, yeah it's it, well, I'm gra- not a thrift store. Garage? I am a high end, mostly estate liquidation. Oh, along so this with... is extra dishonest then, because you put it in the garage sale section. If it's high end, it's not really garage sale stuff. Uh, yeah, you'd have to come here to see it to you to before you pass judgment. You know, well, I don't even want to come in. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set up my table out front. Is it so? It's like it's a store. I can just set it right outside the front door. Yeah, you know, I'd probably pass on this. This just seems really no, it's weird. Cool. It's cool. It's fine. I'm just going to sell balloon animals and face painting. What, are you going to kick a clown off your property? That's, you know, kids <laughs> Kids will see you doing that and they'll think you're bad. They'll be, they're going to be oh like, that's the mean Lord. old man. That's the mean old man that runs the junk shop. Yeah, you know Sanford and Son Incorporated, or whatever you call it there. You know, you're quite abrasive for a clown. Yeah, but uh, I'll be all in character when I'm there. I'm on my way over now. I'm in the van. You just you're just being kind of a killjoy. Yeah, well, it's just uh, something I've never even heard before of a clown. Um, You've never heard of a face painting clown that does birthday parties and stuff. You know, I wonder if Olympic Trading Post is open. They're a thrift store right down the street. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm coming um, to your place. Um, are you going to come out and like give me a hard time like this when I'm out there at my table? You know, I don't think this is going to work. No, it's going to work. It'll be uh, fine. No, I don't think this is going to work. Um, um, do you think, like, because I'm actually pretty high right now, can you let me know if I'm being weird like when I'm there? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't want you here at my store. Thank you very no, I'll, much. I'll be there. I'm going to set up a table at the front door. No, you no, you won't. Yes, I, I will. I will have you trespassed off the property. No, d- don't make me badmouth your business while I'm out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No, um, I, I will. Like, I, if you're going to be an asshole will to me, call I'll, the local sheriff's de- I'll, be I'll call ass- the local sheriff's department if you show up. I'll be an asshole to you if you're not. Are, you're just being racist now because I'm a black clown. This has got to be a joke. Clowns don't joke. Yeah, I'll we'll call the sheriff's department if if you show up here. No, I'm allowed. I'm allowed to show up. I'm I'm a person just like anyone else. You can't be racist. There he goes. He was all for it. <laughs> he just changed his his mind as the call went on. I think we're about done today. I'm just looking through the, at these last few. I'm not seeing any phone numbers. But holy shit. Almost three hours. I didn't expect to be on this long. It was going to be like an hour and a half or something. I can't, Neon. It, there's, there's like no more. There's nothing else. Here's man cave beer signs for dad. <laughs> it's just tons of beer signs. All right, this one has a phone number. Um... <laughs> I'll tr- I I don't know what should I do to this one. I, I I don't think it's an actual yard sale. I think they're just selling beer signs for their man cave.
these authentic pub mirror signs add, add a lively flair to the game watching partying atmosphere in your man cave. He'll love these authentic bar mirror signs. I don't know. I don't know. There's not even an address on this one. How can I do this? I can't do this. <laughs> All right, Big, Bigs wants me to come over and break the signs. It's for stress relief. Most of them are mirrors with beer logos on them. Hello, this is Rini. Hey, Rini, I'm coming over to buy the um, to to buy the beer signs. Awesome. But I uh, do you know which ones you'd like? Yeah, well, I'm gonna break them. Is the thing? It's just for stress relief. But can I break them? Oh, are you kidding me? No, can I break oh, them inside? Who, the... Is this a joke? No, I wouldn't kid is about this. A the... joke? No, I've got I've got a lot of stress to deal with, and this is how I wow. um, you know, just something I do. So can I break them inside the house though? And to each their own. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, can I break them inside the house? <laughs> okay, this is a joke. No, I'm not kidding. But I, if you don't want me to break them inside the house, I'll break them out in the front lawn. I just, no, I, I think glass in the yard is is not a good thing. So in the driveway. I think you're tripping. No, in the driveway then? Because I've got a golf club. I'm just going to beat the crap out of them with a golf club. Why don't you take them home and beat the crap out of them? I don't want to because then I'll have to clean it up. Well, I don't want to clean it up either, do. I think you're tripping. Do. I ain't no do. Now, I'm, I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to buy like maybe three of them. And I just want to break them. I just want to bash them in with a golf club. So I can't do okay, it inside. Okay, this has got to be a prank. I'm not pranking, ma'am. I know this is a prank. You're stressing me out. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm a little drunk right now. Uh, I'm going to come on over. Like, is right now good? I, You know what? It just doesn't sound good. What? What's your name? Brad. What's your name? Brad. Brad? Yeah. Brad? Yeah. Uh, Brad? I'm going to break him. I, I think... I think... You should hang up. No. And and go think about what you're what you're asking because no. it's not it, it, it's just not reasonable. No, I've done this to, before. I, people are fine with it. I'll just break it in the driveway and it'll be easy for you to sweep up. Do you have a like a paved driveway? Yeah. So it'll be easy to sweep it up. I don't know. Do you know? It, I I do believe if I. Uh, talk this over with my husband. He would agree that it's just just a little outlandish. Put him on. Out of the ordinary. Put him on. I'll let him break one with me. <sighs> if you give me a discount, I'll buy four of them, and I'll, right. I'll let him buy one. I'll let him break one. Okay, my, okay, okay. Plate. How much money are we talking here? How much money are we talking here? I don't know. They're like thirty dollars or so, thirty-five. Right. I'll just buy like yeah. four of them, and your husband can help me break one of them in the in the driveway. You know, this is just so so something I'm just not used to that it's kind of blowing my mind. Yeah. Uh, can you hold just a second? Yeah. I'm, I'm walking outside. Yeah, okay. put the man on the phone. All right. Okay, honey. Here's a guy that wants to buy beer sign. Like, he wants to break him. Do you know what, Brad? Yeah. My husband says it just it just kind of goes against. Yeah, because he thinks he's just going to keep them. So. Well, then you can sell we'll you can just... sell them again. You can just sell the frames. The frames are worth something. I'm just going to break the mirrors. No, he he says no. It just doesn't sell how, like a good thing. How come he can't talk to me? Is he a pussy or Sorry. something? Is he a pussy? No, no, he no. Why why can't you put him on? <laughs> He's right here. He's right here, Brad. Oh, hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, your wife was being kind of mouthy to me. Um, I was just going to come over and uh, buy like three or four of your signs. Bye, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the end of the show. 
Thanks, everybody, for listening. I'm sorry, YouTube, that YouTube just completely broke in the middle of my show. It still shows that I am on YouTube, and 141 people are currently watching on YouTube. But I guess, I guess the oh, a few people have made new uh, chat room posts on there. Maybe it's back. Maybe it's working again. Let's see. No, it still says I can't go there. I can't go to the to the page that you know the the admin page for the YouTubin. So yeah, sorry YouTube that everything broke, but thank God the the Mixler still worked and the Shoutcast. I've had fun. Thanks everyone for listening. Thanks for all of the ideas. Thanks, Neon Light Bjork, for introducing us to uh, face painting and balloon animals. <laughs> I want to do more yard sale shows this summer than I've done in the past. Because they're fun. And uh, I'm definitely going to do some more clowns and face painting and balloon animals and multi-level marketing <laughs> kits. Whatever the fuck that is. Oh, shit. Shit. Did I just use up... <laughs> All right, I wondered why people in in the mixer were uh, posting my um, Shoutcast stream URL because Shoutcast only lets us do three hours uh, uh, per day of broadcasting, and I just used it all up. So uh, yeah, I'm I've now been uh, YouTube is broken, and Mixler just kicked me off. Damn it. And uh, I don't know, probably Shoutcast is going to be next. So, yeah, I, I should just end the show before things get, get worse. So thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, hopefully I'll do some more live shows for yard sales, maybe next weekend or something. Bye, everyone. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll end with a song or something. sound like i wonder if 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 the music did they freak out because of the music 
bunch of people left. Let's see. Yeah, there I hear myself. But it says I'm logged in under a different account on YouTube, even though I'm watching the video and I can't go to my live page. I don't even know how to shut the stream off. I think I'm just going to have this, this stream on for 12 hours. We're just going to have to have a 12-hour stream. Oh, well. Hey, Kurt, I'm not gay. Don't, don't say that about me. It's not cool. Live page. All right, I'm just going to shut off the stream. Here it goes. Bye, YouTube.